Hello and welcome to another Foxy Dotel live stream as I stare at this chest. I'm having a stare off with this chest at the minute. Just hang on while I just see who's going to win. Am I going to win? Me? Well, the, I'm not doing that. I'm just controlling my other computer at the minute. I'm trying to get Big Chicken in so that we can get this mob farm running while we're busy doing stuff on the server. And uh, I might as well come over to this. Sorry if it's very, very noisy. In fact, that is very, very noisy. Hang on. One second, mate. Let me just turn that down a bit. Yeah, the um, Trident Killer. Trident Killer in there, look. And I uh, I just happened to put out a... <laughs> can't see anything. A tutorial video today on Trident Killers. And it features this very design. Although I did improve it in my uh, tutorial. Now then, how is everybody doing in the chat? I've got Cap here. Jesse in a hat. Afghan. Clash with Jovial. We've got Milsney. We've got Lofty. We've got Four Press Brett. We've got... Uh, Dean, the others, Atomic Crafter, hello, how are you all doing? Steve Bass is there with the hands up, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all alright, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit on uh, Big Chicken's computer because um, I'm having all sorts of internet problems today. My main internet ran out of data, so I've been, <laughs> I've been basically leeching it off my other internet connection which I use for, uh, for the server. And also between that and my personal hotspot on my phone, I did a stream earlier and it just died halfway through. It did come back again, but it's um, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a bit wonky. Let's put it that way. So I can't actually get big chicken in the game at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a problem, but I'm not going to let that distract us. You know, I'm not going to let that get us get us off point. I guess. Who's this guy? This killer drone. I don't know. Never heard of him. Foxy, who? Foxy, what? How you doing, killer? B Munch is here as well, saying hi. Hello. How you all doing? Come on, other computer. Come on, log in this time. Actually do it. You've got internet. You can do it. I believe in you. I can't do it, mate. You can. Nope. No chance. It looks like we're not going to be playing. We're not going to have uh, Sneaky Big Chicken AFK account in uh, while we look at this mob farm. Then, if you haven't seen this already, this is uh, my custom mob farm, which has got a witch spawner. Up at the top up there, this is a super super flat world, and basically this little spot here is uh, the AFK spot, so let's uh, very carefully break through there, and you can see there is a witch spawner just there. It's only going to work at night time. Plan for today, we want to get this thing, uh, more buttons on it, we want to get some more buttons on the other two layers, and we need to get a roof over half of this thing so it always works, even during the day. So we're going to leave half of it open so we can get squid spawning, and look at all those squid, millions of them. And we're going to leave half of it closed uh, so that we get the witch spawning all the way around. Come on. Live or pre-recorded Foxy, says Lofty. All the pre-recorded stuff's done now, Lofty. It's all all live now. It's all live. Now that I'm back, it's all it's all good. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. And there's a heart from Killer Drone there. Thank you. And doing good. Hey, Foxy, says Mark. Hey, Mark. How are you doing? It's been a while. How are you getting on? So in order to look at the stuff that we've been chugging out from this thing, I haven't logged on to Super Chunk Block for a little while now because I've been concentrating on all the truly bedrock story stuff. And uh, yeah, we got these chests for the little bit of time I spent here are slowly filling up with all of the goodies that's uh, coming through here. And it's good. It's very, very good. So we need some blocks. We're going to need some blocks to build a roof. And the most blocks that I've got at the minute is gravel. That's not going to be very useful for a roof because they're not gravity blocks. Oh, they are gravity blocks. So we're going to need some blocks. So let's go... Make some blocks. Yay, live streams, says uh, Lofty. Yay. Seabass says, welcome back to the world of the living, Foxy. Thank you very much for having me here. Appreciate it. This was, uh, it was difficult times we all went through, but we made it through in the end. Speaking of difficult times, look at what's been going on on this world. Look at the lava down here. We've just got a... Kaylee T1 has oh sorry Kale YouTube one or YT1 has just followed. What's the what what's going on with this lava here? Somebody or maybe more than one person has spent an awfully long time gathering sand. Considering this is a super flat uh, no this is a uh, void world, so they've had to have like get this sand from other means other than actually finding a desert smelted it all and turned it into glass. Now I would like to know how they got their hands on so much glass in order to do that. But I'm very, very impressed with it. It's very, very impressive. And it means that we're a little bit safer in what will eventually be the shopping area on this world. The problem is, and it's not a problem, it's a great problem to have. But everybody in this community is very community driven. And I think they learned a lot from my previous sort of VIP world, which was uh, 
Fo the city of Foxton, which was a community-driven thing. Every there was no currency, there was no buying things. It was just you know help yourself. Everyone keeps giving stuff away. Everyone keeps giving stuff away on here. We're supposed to have an economy and a currency, but what's the point in having shops if you're going to keep giving stuff away? And I know it's the people that play a lot, and I'm really thankful for it, but the community storage thing just keeps filling up and up and up. It was a waste of time building shops. If, you <laughs> if you're going to just keep giving everything away. So, yeah, take your stuff out of the community storage thing. Keep it to yourselves and charge people for it in the shops. Do sharing. And Kaylee says... Uh, eat. So I'm going to call you Kaylee. That's probably not what I should be calling you, but that's what it looks like. And my shop is Diamond, says Lofty. Pointless though, Lofty, because I can get everything you sell from the community storage area. But it's uh, that's not what we want. Keep giving people things for free, says Killer. People giving things for free. Yeah, exactly. We built shops on Fox and it was just for everything was for free, says the Mike. Yeah, I, I, I know, but it... Ah, what's going on here? Oh, that's not my, my house. My house is this way. I know, it just kind of... I don't know, it just feels... Oh, someone else here. Like it takes takes the point of the shops away, I guess. I, maybe not, because there was a lot of shops built on Foxton. So I think we need to have a discussion about that. We did originally have a discussion about that before the series started in the back end. And it was, we did say that we were going to have this as not a community server, as in everyone for themselves type thing. But the more it plays, the more it seems that people are wanting to share, which is nice. And I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. It's a lovely thing that everybody wants to share but if we need to either make our mind up one way or the other so i think we should maybe have a meeting i think we should have a meeting about that and discuss what we should be doing and i the reason i've gone in here is because i don't want an empty sugar box i want a full sugar box i'm gonna do some flower farming today and get that's not no uh this one <laughs> i need some more uh, i need desperately some more sandstone so unless there's a shop somewhere i can buy it from there's probably a load in the community storage area, but no, unless there's a shop I can buy it from or, or any of the community storage area, I guess I'm going to be getting my own. Unless Lofty, actually, she's selling she's selling fly-offs for diamonds. How many diamonds have I got? How many diamonds have I got and how much is Lofty selling them for? Because I'm going to need an awful lot. I'm going to need an awful lot. So let's check on our diamond supplies. We've got 60 diamonds. Not a bad amount of diamonds. Let's go find out. Kaylee says you were right when you corrected it the first time. So, Kale, is that right? Kale with a C. Dean says everyone's big, being very charitable, so Foxy calling the meeting to stop it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pack it in with your charity, mate. I'm having enough. I'm always dying, Foxy, on friends, so I keep losing my stuff, so I know you are. I know, and that's one reason why it's a good thing to have a community server. So maybe we should go in that direction rather than having uh, selling stuff at our shops. Which means your shop would have to be free, though. And if it was free, would you bother to keep restocking it? That's the question. That's the question. That's not your shop. Your shop's over here. But yeah, if you were having to give everything away for free because we didn't have a currency, because we were doing a community server, would you bother to spend the time to restock it? That's the question. And there's a few in there. How much is it? Uh, how much are these again, Lofty? You still haven't put a sign up to say how much they are. You've got bits, one diamond, but you haven't said about the flowers. And I, I've got a terrible memory. You did tell me last time, but I can't remember what you said. So can you... Um, Refresh my brain, please. Kaylee says, yep, it is Kale. So, uh, sorry about that, Kaylee. I'm going to call you Kaylee now. <laughs> All right, I'll try and remember to call you Kale. Yes, Foxy, I'll keep restocking. Flowers were for bone meal. Okay, well, how much bone meal do you want? I've got some bones, mate. So, you don't have that many white, yellow dye, uh, yellow things. And if they're one diamond each, you know, is it a stack for one diamond or is it one diamond each? Because if it's one diamond each, then that's, you know, I'm, it, I'm not going to be able to get very many. <laughs> so I need to know. But you can get diamonds from Will, so that's really high demand. Yeah, but I've got no cobblestone. One stack for one diamond. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> that's not so bad then, Lofty. I'll come here again if that's the case. But I've only, you've only got two stacks of those, so how much bone meal do you want for the uh, for the old flowers? I've got bone meal, mate. I've got bone meal somewhere. I've got some in here, and I've got some at home as well. But yeah, I've got a few bones. I can spare a bit of bone meal. What do you want for it? Hit me with your highest, uh, with your best price. Not your highest price. Your best price, please. One stack for one diamond for bits. Yes. 
But what about these, mate? What about these? How many? I'm going to turn it all into bone meal first. That would be useful, I think. Flowers were one bone meal stack for nine stacks of flowers. Wow, really? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that, for that, that's crazy. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you all of this bone meal because I don't need it. And in that, if that was the actual exchange rate, I'm just going to take all your flowers apart from those. Is that all right? Can I do that? It was the highest price as Foxy No Tail 2020 says the mic on the switch. Thanks, Mike. Always pointing out my mistakes, aren't you? I see. I see. Whoa. I knew I was just about to do that. I just fortuned my ender chest again. I'm so smart. Fortunately, I've got loads and loads of blaze rods in my ender chest. Look at all the ender chests here. There's one there, one there, one there. I'm spoiled for choice with all these ender chests. But instead of getting uh, one of my other <laughs> ender chests out, I just put those in there and I grab that one there. We're all good. Now, don't mine it with the fortune pickaxe. See, this is why I don't use fortune pickaxes, because I smash my ender chest to bits. Jeez. That's fine, says Lofty. I'll start with more flowers. Brilliant. Keep it stocked up. I need as many as I can get. And I've just chucked my pickaxe back through the nether. Good job. Good job, Foxy. <laughs> Doing a good job today. There's a ha flower machine hiding in the barn, says Binary Bob Hope. See you again. Stop stop giving me your stuff to use, because I'll use it, and then I won't make it myself. I, I'm on my way to be building a flower farm in my next video. Don't you be don't you be stealing that from me. No, that's really good. That is really good that that's there. That means Lofty can stock up really quickly. But yeah, in my next video is literally going to be building a flower farm so we can get more bits from flowers. So now that I've got my mob farm and I can get plenty of bone meal, and obviously it's got fish in there as well, so I get bones from that, it's, um, yeah, it means I can make my flower farm. So that's the next stage in my progression, if you're interested. If you're not, then, well, forget it, mate. Right, so we need an area we can go and lay a load of these things out now. And people keep planting other flowers everywhere. So I'm just going to... Oh, man. Uh, where can I go with this? I just need a massive area of grass, really. Hmm. I might just remove all these torches for now and put them back again afterwards like I normally do. Get rid of all this. Sorry if you've been making this look pretty. I love Phil Zer. Has just followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, and Richie Cranium is hosting with uh, the stream as well. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Thank you for the host. Get rid of all these smelly torches. They're in my way. Who's put this well here? It's all very well it being there, but it's right in my way. And what's the deal with the sea lanterns in the floor? That looks weird. I guess it's like lighting, but it looks weird, guys. Unless there's a plan. Is it some sort of town management plan thing? I don't know. Looks weird. Looks out of place. I'll hop in the game and get you more flowers, says Lofty. Brilliant. Yes, the more the merrier. Thank you very much. Four Presbetters hosting as well. Thank you very much. I will say your name wrong as well, I think. Good at saying names wrong. One thing that Foxy Notel is very good at is saying people's names wrong. Speaking of uh, streaming and stuff, though, I uh, I have been playing on my second account, my my account that is designed for the mature audience, although it's not me being doing anything any different about the games I've got mature content in. I've been playing Doom Eternal. I've done my fourth live stream on Doom Eternal today. Did it a few hours ago. Having an amazing time in that game. It's absolutely fantastic. So uh, if you are... Oh, that, that game in the UK is an 18 plus rating. So if you're over 18 or if you are 17 plus in the States because the, uh, the States has a slightly lower rating on that game. But yeah, then be sure to go head over there and check that out. I definitely recommend it. But if you're not, if you're not that age, don't watch it, mate, because it's not for you. Okay? Not suitable. That's got a rating on it and everything. I've even put ratings on the screen. Stop you, stop you young'uns going and watching things you shouldn't be watching. Keep yourself young. You only, you only get your youth yet once. Don't, don't rush it away. Don't try and be older than you are before it's time. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Link says Richie Cranium. It is. Uh, I where I'm cheering the link for it somewhere. I'm not sure where. The, uh, the the alt account is Duckshot84. So if you head over to twitch.tv forward slash Duckshot84, then you will see that's the channel and you'll see links. So you can get the, uh, the video on demand on the alt account YouTube channel. There is another YouTube channel that has the YouTube VODs going up after the streams and the last one has just 
gone up a couple of hours ago, so you can check it all out on there. Though we had a little bit of a problem in today's stream with the whole thing cutting out because of internet connections, which is, wasn't ideal. It did come back on though, so you don't miss too much. And yesterday's stream, somehow, like a big, big wally, I managed to record or play for about 20 minutes, talking to myself, thinking everyone was listening, and uh, I <laughs> didn't have any... I wonder why no one was replying. But because it's a new channel and I don't get many views there anyway, I just assumed that people just weren't really paying much attention. And I um, <laughs> I didn't have my audio on, didn't have my microphone on at all, so that was a complete waste of time. Oops. You get three with Fortune, says Richard Cranium. You get between three and six, I believe, with uh, Fortune, or between one and six with Fortune on the flowers. Bearded, what, the bearded Swine says, Doom, indeed. Yes, very, very good game. Very, very good. I'm absolutely addicted to it right now. In fact, I was actually tempted <laughs> to do another one of those instead of this. But I, I, uh, no, I need to I need to keep up with Foxy Hotel as well. I need to keep my family-friendly content going. Can't just be concentrating on all the things that I love and enjoy. You know? But yeah, if you're, if you're interested in seeing that and you are of a suitable age range, then I would strongly advise you to go over there and check it out. It is my usual style of thing, bit of my silly commentary. I don't talk quite as much on there purely because I don't get as many chat requests because there's not, many, not as many people watching. And also, you've got to concentrate a little bit on that game. You've got to just concentrate a little bit because, uh, yeah, it's a bit tricky. It is a bit tricky. It's definitely worth going and checking out. What are we facepalming for, Bob? Byron Bob Hope there with the facepalm emoji. What's that one for? Is it me? What have I done this time? And Mitz there sharing the link. Thank you very much, Mitz. Need green carpet, says Richie Cradham. Oh, I see. For the sea lanterns. Ah, uh, it was green carpet. It looks weird, though, doesn't it? Green carpet and the grass just looks weird. I know it's quite a common thing to see, but it doesn't look good, does it? When has anyone ever looked at a big lawn and with bits of carpet stuck on it and gone, yeah, that looks good. You don't you just go, oh, well, I haven't really got much choice. Use your imagination a bit. Think of how we can light this area up nicely without having underfloor horrible green carpet things because I think it can be done. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, but I'm just saying there are other ways. Definitely worth exploring. Lam lamps, paths, parkways, interesting ornaments. Just be imaginative. Even if it looks weird, it doesn't matter. Even if it looks weird. But you just said it looks weird as it is for. Oh, shut up. So I'm always correcting me all the time. Oh, I've got a present from your nightmares. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. From my nightmares, apparently. Let's have another four sort sugar boxes while we're in here. We'll fill them all up. Get them full of flowers. We need the flowers, guys. We've got to get the flowers, mate. How is the sound today? I haven't... I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a stream on... Uh, on this channel. How's the sound? Is it alright? Is the game sound too loud, too quiet? Is the music too loud, too quiet? Let me know. Let me know, mate. Hello? No. No, 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 no. All sounds good, says Atomic Crafter. Brilliant. Ah! See, this is the uh, the slight problem with having gotten rid of all of the lights. Well, I'm fucking out if you had carpet under the floor. Oh, shut up. Shut up with your stupid carpet ideas, all right? Jeez. I just want to be able to get my flowers made. I haven't got a flower farm yet. Lighting should be lampposts is why I exist. Yeah, that would look good. Uh, lampposts, the thing is, though, in order to light everything, you would have to have lampposts everywhere. So I do get it, but there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. And between us all, I'm sure we can think of a better way. Lampposts for certainly for some areas between paths that would look good. What else could we do? How could we hide it? Uh, leaf blocks with torches underneath them look good if you're doing path work. If you do um, uh, grass path blocks will let light through. So if you've got a grass block on top of a sea lantern and you uh, make it into a grass path block, that will let light through. Now I'm not saying the whole area should look be made of grass path blocks because that would look probably equally gross, but a mixture. Decoration, just throwing some different shapes and things in there should look pretty good, I reckon. Slabs could use, says Doc No. Yeah, you could. Certain areas of it could be absolutely be slabs. Slabs would work pretty well. Don't want to overdo it with the slabs, though, because you're obviously only going to have slabs in the 
like the stone and the wood variant. So if you want grass, you're going to have to try and avoid the slabs. Bedrock is weird, says why I exist. Uh, same on Java Edition. In fact, we're really fortunate on here because on Java Edition, grass path blocks and other things don't let light through. So we're actually really... but I love the fact that Bedrock Edition lets light through stuff like that. I really hope they don't take us that away from us with all of these parity changes they're making because we've got a whole massive range of lighting options that you just don't get on Java Edition. It just makes life so much better. Like lighting up your house. You can have the lighting around your house that you want and then just light everything from under the floor by using slab floors. It's great. It's amazing. Next time you fiddle around, with, play some fiddle music. Ultimate dad joke within a dad joke. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not fiddling with my music to do a fiddle joke, all right? See what I did there. Do you see what I did there? I made a fiddle joke about fiddling. But that's what I asked you to do. Shut up. Lofty says, Barney Rebob Hope, where is your flower farm? I don't know. But then I'm not them, so how would I? Needs more banjos, says Michael Switch. You always say it needs more banjos. Whoop. Stop it with the banjos, Mike. You think everything needs more banjos. They should ask grass slabs because you could detail better and have lighting options. I would absolutely love grass slabs. I don't think, though. I feel like that's something they're definitely not going to give us. That just feels too... Too good to be true. But then I then I guess I would have said that about lanterns as well. I never thought for a second we would have got lanterns. Or really true with firework rockets. So, you know, you never know. But that's a, such an obvious thing for them to add. So why hold it back? Like, why would they hold that back for a special occasion? Same, same as sand. It would be really nice if we could have half slabs of sand. Or sand layers, like we get slow layers. That would be amazing. But, um, yeah got to wonder why it's not in the game already because it's not because it's going to be a difficult thing to code i guess or maybe it would maybe having something that can be dirt or grass or grass path and have that being a slab variant as well maybe that is a tricky thing to code into the game who knows some things need more cowbell says the mic on switch okay fair enough what needs more cowbell give me an example lofty the flowers go in the chest between the hopper minecarts says the uh, binary rob he might have to do a demonstration. Mr. says, I'm guessing Twitch is struggling on your PC or just me. It's working fine on the other platforms, though. Is there? A, is it playing up, Mitz? Is it? Oh. Oh, on PC, not just on my PC. Is it? Are we having problems again, are we? Let me know if there is. There's not a lot I can do about it, but I would like to know. You see, there is quite a delay now. That keeps happening a lot as well. Lots of stream delays. The other day, when me, Slack, and Silent were streaming the um, the Dungeons game, there was a massive delay. And that was apparently Twitch were hosting some like charity event thing. So that was understandable. But it's been doing it to me today as well. So I don't know what's going on with that. I guess it's just the strain that the entire internet's under at the minute with everyone being at home having nothing better to do but stream stuff. Is there a new film or a new TV show that's just started on Netflix or anything like that that people will be watching? Could have, could be anything like that. Retexture, polish, dry, into grass. Also, Twitch is fine on Android. I, I don't... I don't think retexturing things is a good idea. I like to stick with the vanilla textures. Even, like, texture packs are okay if they keep the same look, but if you start retexturing things, it looks fine on yours, but it looks weird on others. And, like, then if, if we ever did a world download on this, it's going to look really weird for people that are just downloading it and be like, and why have they got, like, these andesite slabs everywhere yet? Yeah, I just don't think it would be good. And it doesn't make any sense, does it, that you would put andesite into a stone cutter and get a grass slab out of it? Don't make sense, mate. An add-on, when they add custom blocks and custom crafting in using uh, the add-on pack, I think I can imagine nearly everybody is going to be adding custom um, grass slabs and dirt slabs and things like that. And that's already in the game, but it's locked behind the experimental gameplay thing at the minute. You can't have it in uh, 
like the standard game but it is there they've already coded it in it's just a case of them being happy happy enough with it to actually put it in full release and when they do that i'm going to be creating so many mod packs it's going to be crazy got loads of ideas but they're all held behind this experimental wall at the minute mark says wait does this series have any hay bales in the basement <laughs> not yet mark it could have soon i haven't been keeping on it to be honest real life going crazy yeah i understand that i think i think we're all all suffering from the same so I appreciate it, mate. I do appreciate it. And I know you're a bit of a truly Bedrock fan, really, rather than the other stuff. I'm, I appreciate the fact that you do even bother to take the time to even watch some of the other stuff. Because you are so... You're so... Like, involved with Truly Bedrock. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, really appreciate that. Stream... Steam delay to California is about 25 seconds. We froze one time, says Dorsal. Oof. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, it'll make it, you won't know, will you? In fact, yes, you will. I'm gonna say one, two, three, go, right? And when I say go, I want you to have something ready in the chat to hit hit the return button so it sends it, okay? So let anything you want, just a word or a sentence. In fact, we have to... Can't be anything you want, otherwise I won't know what's what. Right, so get the word... Get the word go in your chat, right? Ready to go. And as soon as I say three, two, one, and I'll say it, right, then just hit return and I'll see what the stream delay is, okay? Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's only about five second delay at the minute. That's not too bad. Not so bad. Not bad at all, mate. Do you have any tips for folks in isolation? I'm only a few days crazy away from crawling under my desk. Um, hobbies. Get lots of different hobbies. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself distracted with things to do. So take up a hobby, even if it's something you don't think you'll enjoy. Try it for a day. You've got plenty of time now. There's no excuse. Oh, I've got to be doing this. I've got to be doing that. I can't because of work commitments. There's no excuse for not trying new things. So try cooking. Try cooking different types of food that you've not cooked before. Try sewing if you've got a sewing kit at home. Try painting if you've got artistry stuff there or drawing. Throw yourself out of your comfort zone because comfort zone, you might find that there's something new and interesting that you've not, not discovered before or you've never got involved with. Read a book or if you do read regularly, change the genre and so you can get into a different kind of genre. There's so many free books available online, you don't have to spend any money to do that. Um, go out in the garden if you've got a garden, do a little bit of gardening. You know, <laughs> dig up some worms and make yourself one of them little wormery things. Or just to find some DIY stuff to do. Get find Repaint your cupboard fronts or, you know, rehang some pictures. Get everything nice and straight and tidy in your house. If there's all of those jobs you've been putting off for years because you can't be bothered, the garage needs clearing out, the attic needs sorting, the boards need doing, the taps are a bit leaky, the showers need descaling. Do it all. You've got the time to do it. Give yourself a couple of jobs to do a day, right? And then uh, literally just... Tick them off, a couple of jobs at a time. And reward yourself every time you've done a job. Then uh, give yourself something good. Like, oh, I'm going to play this game I've really wanted to play. Or I'm going to watch this TV show I really wanted to watch. Something like that. There's, there's a million and one things we can do inside our houses. There's absolutely loads of things to do. So there's no reason for anyone to be getting bored. Mitt says, I haven't had a chance to be bored with the little man around. Exactly. If you've got kids, you, yeah, you're definitely not going to be bored. You might be bored of doing the <laughs> stuff with the kids, but then expand their horizons. Do the same thing with them. Getting them helping you doing the jobs. Getting their, get them help you doing the washing, the washing up, the cleaning, putting stuff in the tumble dryer. Kids like to be helpful at a certain age. And once they get past that, just, you know, get them some puzzles or jigsaws or read to them. Or, you know, there's loads and loads of stuff you can be doing. Absolutely tons. And I, I'm not having a go at anybody for being for getting bored. Absolutely not. You know, we're not all used to being at home all the time and doing these things. It takes some getting used to. When I when I first oh a long long time ago, um, basically split up with Oliver's mum, I just all of a sudden felt completely lost and I didn't want to do anything like playing games or watching TV because I felt I should have been doing other things. But I'm like then it took me a long time for me to realise. No, you're on your own. You can do what you like now. Like <laughs> within reason, so um, yeah, I appreciate that. It might feel weird, but just do it. Just throw yourself into it and do it. Do chores, GG Foxy lol. Well, they need doing. I've done all my washing today. I'm putting them all away. Afghan says started doing some art. Found it really fun. 
Dean says, I'm that boy who played the original Command and Conquer game and he kept hearing Chuck lol. Oh, and the music just seemed to have stopped. That was weird. Oh, all my audio stopped. Huh. Was it all stopped for you as well or have I just hit my volume slider again? Yeah, I hit my volume slider again. Dope. <laughs> it's a really sensitive volume slider and when I move in the chair, sometimes I rub against it and it turns my sound off. It's on my headphones wire, mate. I need to tape it up, really, but it is useful. Anti Dizzy says, like Minecraft, indeed, like Minecraft, Anti Dizzy. And hello, Anti Dizzy, it's been a long time since I've seen you kicking around. How are you doing? How are you doing? Mel, you can't get on Twitch at all with my laptop, very strange. Oh, that's weird. I can't get on Twitch at all with my laptop, very strange, says Mitt. Hmm, that is strange. A mystery that must be solved. That's it, detectives in chat. Figure out Mitz's problem. Why can't she get on Twitch on her laptop? What's the issue? Is she struggling with her Wi-Fi? See, I've got my uh, PC next to me. Ch Big Chicken's PC. All wired up and ready to go. It is connected to the internet, but it will not It will not log Big Chicken into Minecraft. It says it cannot connect to Xbox Live. So there are weird things going on. Phone and Fire Stick are fine. Mmm, very interesting. Twitch on my laptop is working, says Afghan. So it could just be Mitz then. Could just be Mitz, or it could be your ISP. It's not the Wi Fi, it's Twitch, says Mad Chef, back now. Do you have a dedicated mixing board for your streaming, says Waffles? No, I do have a mixer. The problem is, the problem with the mixer is. I need one that has multiple outputs from the PC. I'm a bit of a... I don't... A lot of people when they record or when they do streams, they have all of their audio going out to one channel, basically. Which means that you've got... If your voice is too loud, or your game is too loud, or your music's too loud, there's nothing you can do about it. Because you can't mix the streams individually. And I can do that. I've got a mixing desk that I could send all of the sound out from my PC to. But what's the point? Because it doesn't have mul multiple channels to go to it. And I did nearly get it set up so that I could have it the way I wanted it um, by using three different sound cards to output the sound in three different ways to the mixing desk. But it just so adds so much noise to the, to the sound going out because of all the different audio devices having different ground interference and stuff like that. Just made it so much worse. So I just use the internal mixer on the... On the um, I use virtual audio cables. So my voice is on one. In fact, my voice actually comes in through the microphone into a program called Reaper, which is a DMW, through a few plugins and effects processing things to make it a bit clearer and a bit louder. Then it comes back out onto a virtual audio cable. My Spotify is on a dedicated virtual audio cable. The game sounds are on a dedicated virtual audio cable. And then everything else is on the default audio channel. So all of the stream sounds and everything is through the default. So I have control over every aspect that way through Streamlabs directly. So I can tweak my voice being louder or quieter or the game being louder or quieter. Which is why I'm always saying, oh, wait, is it too loud? Is it too quiet? And then I can adjust them individually. Which is a, a, re a much easier way to do it once you get it set up. It's a bit of a pain to get it set up, but once you've got it done, it's fine. Although Minecraft itself, I keep telling it that I want it on its own channel, but then it always defaults back to the default audio. So technically, although I've got it, I've got a dedicated thing for it, it just reverts itself back to the default audio on the PC. Even though Windows Mixer shows it being on a different one, it's not. Commander Kevin's here. Cricket's here. Cricket says, My laptop on Twitch is just fine, along with mobile, going to Chromecast on TV. Could be a regional server issue. And I've got a... Hey, Seabones there with a donation of £10. Thank you very much, Seabones. Thank you. Always at the top of the list. I, it's always your your name I see there. Seabones2, £10. Whenever I come back to this. Thank you so much. No message with it, though. Fair enough. Increase Decrease says, Twitch is having trouble for me on all platforms. I finally got it loaded on PC, but I can't chat. Oh, that's a problem. Doc Noah says, if you could add one thing to Minecraft, what would you Minecraft, what would you add? That is, you know, that's one of those things where you only really know it when you need it. 
you know, you'll be doing something in the game and you'll think, oh, do you know, I really wish I could do this. And, but then when you're not doing it, you just forget about it. You just accept the game the way it is. Uh, so yeah, off the top of my head, that's a really, really difficult one to answer. Right now, because we've been discussing it, my brain's immediately going to grass slabs or sand layers or something like that would be really useful. But there's a million other more useful things. Like inventory. I'd like an inventory managing thing. I'd like to be able to sort, have a sort button and have a, like a standard inventory thing or just an expanded inventory. I'd like a backpack. I'd like to be able to put a shulker box in this box here. Well, I know that's the output from crafting, but let's say there was another one there. Put a shulker box there that automatically, when my inventory is full, things go into the shulker box. Or I could have one that's particularly for stone. So if I pick up stone, it goes into the stone box or something like that or even filters so you could put a filter in it and certain items in that filter would go in there that would be really good so I think that's the thing I want the most most of the time is inventory management or just a wider hotbar or something like that but there's loads of things that I would like to have in this game but I just can't think of them right now what about you what do you think what do you think Why I exist says I have good Wi-Fi. Only two people are using it, so, so for me it's fine. Oh, that's good. Good. B Silver B says is stream running. I can only see Foxy Info page was not able to access Twitch at all a few minutes ago. It is running. If you can hear me, everyone else seems to be having problems with Twitch today as well. It's not stopping us on the viewers though. We got a solid sixty viewers right now. And if you're viewing this and you're not already followed, then please do hit that follow button. And if you want to chat as well, we are on follower-only mode on the chat now. So yeah, make sure you hit that follow button. I do like it when people write in the chat. I will always, if I see it, make a response or, you know, say something back. So yeah, get followed if you're not already. I definitely, definitely appreciate it. And it costs you nothing to follow. Speaking of costing you nothing... Did you know that with Amazon Prime... Oh, he's doing it again! He's doing it again! Look, I've got to make money, okay, mate? With Amazon Prime, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get one free subscription to a Twitch channel of your choice. So as long as they're affiliated, like my channel is, if you go, hey, I like this person, I want to help them out by supporting them financially, but at no cost to myself, you can use your Amazon Prime account in order to subscribe to that person for one month. And that costs you nothing and it will help me out financially. Now, if you're not using your Amazon Prime subscription, you are throwing money down the drain. You are you're wasting that money. So you might as well do it. It costs you nothing. It takes no time. It doesn't you won't get pinged or adverted at. You none of your details or data is going to be you know used for anything. Nothing happens. All it does is it just helps me out a little bit and it makes you feel better on the inside as well. So yeah, if you got Amazon Prime, hit that subscribe button mate. I'd appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. My, my real life job's gone, gone down the toilet, mate, with all of this coronavirus stuff. So I'll, the more the merrier, you know. And there we go. Dorsal Dawn with Prime there saying, uh, with the link that says, how to use Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you, Dorsal. Lofty says, I'm not paying the stream fee again, lol. I would never expect you to, Lofty. You are one of my closest and dearest friends on this world, so uh, you, you get away with it. But no one else. Everyone else has to pay. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm not joking about the Amazon Prime thing, though. If you have got that, that would be amazing. I would appreciate it. Please. I'll beg you if you have to. Please. I paid yesterday, said Dean. Yeah, that was yesterday. What about today? <laughs> oh, dear. I can't subscribe because it says you can't. I can't from my platform. Says don't know. Fair enough. If you can't, then you can't. You know. But if you can and you can, then please do. But if you can't, I won't hold it against you. It's not a problem. And if you don't want to, fair enough. You know, it's not a problem. Or if you want to use it on someone else, that's fine. Absolutely fine. It's not a problem. What's to oh timer? Have I forgot to start the timer again? Oh, I'm useless. I know. I even got it ready today. I even got it ready. I, what I need is I need a post-it note on my screen with the list of things to do when I start streaming because I always forget that one. There you go. Oh, it's not, still not started. I've pressed it and everything. There you go. It's only it's only 45 minutes late, the stream timer. And it's still not even going. Oh, it's going now. <laughs> my name was at the top of that. My name was at the top at the start. So it went on today's as well, says Dean. Yeah. Yeah, see, Bones is taking that top slot back again. Away from me, though. 
All I can see is sea bones. I'll pay in stickers, says Lofty. Oh no, not stickers. As bad as Mr. Onion you are. So, how is everyone doing? I, I obviously see that some people are frustrated with being indoors now, which is absolutely un understandable. I completely get it. It is it is boring. Don't forget, you can go out in your gardens. You can go out, if you're in the UK at least, you can go out for uh, exercise if you need to, or to the shop. So, um, you know, don't do not do it for the sake of doing it, but don't, don't hide in thinking you're stuck inside your four walls. You can go and... Go and have a walk around the block or something. Have a look out your window. Make sure there's no one else on the street that you're going to bump into. And just go and have a walk around the block. Get some fresh air. Get some exercise. Don't touch anything. And if you do touch anything, wash your hands. In fact, you should be washing your hands anyway. But, you know, just um, don't feel completely 100% trapped. If you live on a busy street and there's a lot of people about, then just do it at a time when it's less busy. Or even, you know, if you want, if you need to in the middle of the night, it's fine. I'm not advocating going and seeing other people, though. Keep yourself distanced, as 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 recommended by the governments and whatever area you live in. But otherwise, yeah, try try not to feel trapped. Went out yesterday. It started snowing, says Dean. Oh man, get your sledge out. Go sledging. Make sledging your one form of exercise per day. Sounds good to me. Gotta go shop and come back as it's cold. It affects the asthma, says Lofty. Yeah. I still have to work. Worked all last night, says Commander Kevin. Oh, man. Yeah, I should technically be going to work still. But uh, there's very little point at this point. <laughs> Absolutely no point, because there's nothing happening at work. Although I do desperately need to do my accounts. I've got to do that. So I think probably I'm... Oh, in fact, I'm going to be with Oliver all day Wednesday. So maybe not Wednesday. It might have to be Thursday then I actually go to work and do some accounts. But yeah, Wednesday, if uh, if it seems like a quiet day from me, it's just because I'm spending the day with Oliver, which would be really nice, so... Yay! Didn't lay, but had good weather all week in southeast, then snowed for a day. It's weird, said Dean. Yeah, that is weird. Atomic Crafter said, I could not see the light of day for six months and not think twice about it. My, uh, my wife, however, is absolutely going nuts. Yeah. Don't forget as well about vitamin D. Even if you're just standing out in your garden for a little while and getting some fresh air, vitamin D is really, really important and you only get it from the sun. So there's hardly any of it in food. You can take supplements for it, but without it, you'll feel tired, you'll feel lethargic, you'll feel like you can't be bothered, you'll be fed up. So make sure make sure you're getting sunlight directly. It doesn't work through the window. No point standing by the window trying to get it. You have to get it directly from the sun. You need the sun on your skin. Make sure you get plenty of it. Obviously, if you live in an area where you've got high UV like stuff coming through, so you'd be careful how long you have your skin in the sun for. But if you are from the UK like me, you can go out for at least an hour or two in the sun at the min in the minute, in the current weather, and not worry about sunburn or anything like that. So uh, yeah, go and get your vitamin D topped up. Feel better. Vitamin 3 tablets, boys, says why I exist. Nah, go outside, it's better, it's easier, it's nicer. Just don't go around anyone else. We all get more Minecraft time and watch streams, says uh, Box Lofty, yeah. Okay, Dad, says Atomic Crafter. Do as you told, son. <laughs> Jesse B's here with a wave. Hi, Jesse, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. How was Ethan's birthday yesterday? Was it a good one? I realised that obviously he couldn't go and see his family. He was a bit sad about that, which is a shame, but uh, unavoidable, sadly. Hopefully he had a good time anyway. I hope he did. Jesse, B, 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 says Commander Kevin. Ow. Ooh. He shins. Does Expert Level 99 juice provide vitamin D? Sadly not. No, only the sun can do such a thing. And tablets. But apart from that, apart from tablets, only the sun. Okay. Well, I feel like we've got a lot of the old sunflowers now. We've got plenty. So we should be able to go turn all of those into bits and go and get them fiddled by our bit, bit, bit fiddler and uh, make loads of money. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've done it again! Absolute moron. Moron level 99. That's what I am. 
Mark says, I went outside to water the garden. Well, there you go. Good. Jesse B says, he did have a good day. Just got to hang out with us and play games. That sounds good. Sounds like my type of birthday. I want those. Chuck all that. Oh, I've got another ender chest on me. Was that the community ender chest I just stole and smashed? Oops. Sorry, guys. At least it wasn't mine. That's the main thing. <laughs> I'm just going to go torch this area up a bit as well. Who's this we've got over here? Got in-game player names turned off again, and I don't recognise people's skins properly. I'm guessing this is Armin. Let's turn on in-game player names. Oh, it's Lofty. Oh, you changed your skin, Lofty. Very nice. Heard you were hiding indoors, Jesse, says Mark. <sighs> Probably came from Palm Springs. What? I don't understand. Yes, I, I could be a creeper, says Lofty. What? It's getting very confused right now. Totally confused right now, mate. Fly! To the land of the villagers! Oh, oh, oof! I'm so glad I didn't die then, because my stuff would literally have exploded off the sides, wouldn't it? That wouldn't have been fun. Not fun at all, mate. Sunflower time! It's time to get your sunflowers out and do some sunflower trading with these sunflower guys. Doopy doo, make it into a song. Sounds slightly more interesting. Oh, another ender chest! It's ender chest city, this place. Put that back in there before I do any more damage. And let's turn all of my yellow bits into bits. Many, many. In fact, what if I... No, it doesn't work. Oh, that worked. Boom. Wow. That worked very well. A little too well. Huh. Right, bit fiddler. Can I? No, I need to get to that. Stop it. Oh, there you go. One already waiting for me over here, look. What's this, Foxy? is in prison villages. He must be working for the artillery. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. Nope. What I need... Oof. That was a lot. That was very laggy. What's happening here? Why is that not working? What have I done? I broke something. Am I auto-clicking? No. Yeah, I need a I need a right click auto clicker. Rather than the left click one. So I can do this very quickly. That's very laggy though. Look at the lag I get from that. Crazy lag. How do villagers How I do villagers is the best. You put villagers in boxes and put workstation in front of them. It doesn't work for me when I do that. The only way I can do it is free range, otherwise they just unlink from their workstations. Come on, give me lots of blocks. Many, many. Foxy, are you ever going to finish your house, says Data. You know, I need to get working on that, don't I? Uh, I've actually changed my mind on what I'm going to do with it. I, I I, like the old, like, Tudor, Tudory style house. But I think I'm going to knock it all down and go for a more modern looking thing. I've been, uh, I've been really looking forward to doing modern style builds. And I never seem to find... The opportunity to do them, so I think I'm going to do that on this series instead. I'm going to get out of my comfort zone, grab some concrete, and do that. I think. Put two stacks of bits, then shift. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Oh well. I done it now, ain't I? Okay, right. More bits. Many, 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 many. So what we'll do is we'll, as we're taking those out of there, we'll put these back in. All right, more bits, please. We get two bits for each of these sunflowers, so we've got to be slightly careful. Whoa! Ah! I, I, yeah, that, that's auto clicking for you. When a bit. <laughs> oh dear. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> No. Uh, 
I can't get the hang of this. There we go. Yes, that's much better. I always forget that. Thank you. Face palms is dead. Cricket the wise. Yeah. All right, I'll face palm that one. That was that was absolutely. Foxy, why are you mending your tools? Because I'm come as I'm a doofus. Jeez, have you guys not realised yet? Why don't you understand? I'm an idiot. It doesn't seem to actually... Oh, it is repairing it. Oh, the lag. The lag trading with this guy. I hope they fix that soon. Please fix trading lag in next update, please. And there we go. Boom. That was loads quicker. And we got a load on the floor there as well. More. 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 Uh, that's not got mending on it. That hasn't. That has. Oh. Come on. Stop it. Here we go. More. More. Good. Thank you. Look at my levels. I've got a yellow shulker box now. I didn't want a yellow one. Oh, well. Shouldn't really have been uh, keeping it in my inventory, should I? Let's pop it down and then I won't. I'll remember not to do that next time. Possibly. Right, let's see if we can do this without making a big error. There we go. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yes, please. I'll take many. Many, many, if you don't mind. No. There we go. I'll have many again. And again. And some more many. And a little bit more many. Thank you. And some more many. A little bit more. Thank you. And a bit more. There we go. Very nice. Very good. We're doing well. So what have we got there? We've got... Hmm. I would have thought we should have had a full sugar box from that. Maybe. Am I doing my maths wrong? I think I've messed up a little bit there. Let's figure it out this time. Let's put those random few bits in there. We'll see how many we get from this entire box. So that should give us 18 stacks of bits. Right? Bloom. 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, so we've not been ripped off there. Where is he? Come here, friend. Um, nope, not you. You! Wake up! No sleeping. Sleeping bad. Good work at being careful, says Dean. Many, many levels, says Data. Okay. So what do... It's, it's four for one. So we should have had more than a shulker box worth then. No, no we wouldn't. Oh, my brain. Brain off good. Yeah, so we get a 16 for each one of those. Yes, maybe we got more than we should have done then. I don't know, can't work it out. Too many maths for this time of day. Expert level 99, careful, says Commander Kevin. Yes, indeed. And there we go. Another few of those. Ah, I see. Yeah, we get half back, don't we? That's right. That makes sense now. And boom. <laughs> That's amazing. Look how quickly just converted those. Thank you, Auto Clicker. We should build a minigame on Chunk Block. Says Doc Know. What sort of minigame do you think we should build? A lot of things we should build. What sort of mini. Why can't I click it? Come on. Don't be that. Don't be that inventory. Let me click it. No, why are you stopping me from being able to click it? It's very annoying. Okay, you can shift click them both. Did not know that. That's even easier now. Oh, this just gets easier and easier. Every time I do it. Build. I built a spleef. That was easy. Death run. Hmm. Uh, why have we got a lot more villagers than we've got beds? Hmm. I think some interesting linking has been going on here. Come on, level 6 bit for Leon. Nearly a max level bit fiddler as well. We're nearly totally, totally the best bit fiddler in the world. 
So we got half a sugar box exactly there. So how did we end up with more the first time round? I don't know. I must have had some, some flowers already in my inventory, I guess. That makes sense. Makes exact perfect sense. More bloom. <laughs> Give me those, please. More. Even more! Many! Yeah, you're max level now. Hurrah! More. 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 Very good. Good job, sir. Dig straight down, lol, says Scorch. What, in, <laughs> in chunk block? There's only one block of the floor, mate. It won't take long to die. Whee! Oh, made a few too many then. Well, you, get out of bed. Oh you, get out of bed. That's why I say to me teenager every morning. Oh you, get out of bed. Get up. Stop being lazy. Gosh down teenagers. Get up and play on your computer game all day because you've got nothing to do and no school to go to. Get up, go on. Get up and be bored. Stop sleeping. Nice. Oh, no. Right, well, we've got over a shulker box and a half of this stuff now already. That's pretty good. Don't you use my crafting table. Who do you think you are, eh? Who do you think you are? Not yours, villager. Mine. There should be no using my crafting table without written permission from any villagers. Lol, pesky teens, says Jesse. You should trade bits to cobblestone, then you don't have to mine cobblestone anymore. Yes, exactly. You're absolutely right. But right now, we want the sandstone because that will look better on our build. And this is the easiest way to get lots of sandstone. But yeah, um, the cobblestone, once we've got our mob farm fully finished and our flower farm and everything, and we're getting loads and loads of dyes in, then we can start making the... Uh, yeah, that exactly what you just said. We start getting the cobblestone and trading with wealth. Think I take uh, no way to put it. Get up! Stop being so lazy. So anyway, everybody, I am ready for some questions. If you would like to ask them, I have prepared myself for this moment for all day. And I thought, you know what, today I'm going to ask people for questions in my live stream. Even though I ask that every time, today feels a little bit special. So go on, ask me some questions. I'm ready. Whatever you want to know, ask it. I don't care what it is. Poor villager just wants to sleep, says Alice's mom. Did you find Alice yet? On Instagram, there's a photo of you and someone going to a Halloween party. Is that... Is the woman your kid's mum? No, it's not. It's my girlfriend. What are your plans for Season 2 of Truly Bedrock, says Doc Noah. Oh, well. I've got so many plans. I don't know where to start. Hey, whoa, what do you think, Jesse B? Have you got plans for Season 2? Starting on the, the 1st of April. I'm very excited. Very excited. What was your favourite game before Minecraft, says Jesse Bay. Ooh, before Minecraft, I don't think I can remember that far away. I probably spent most time playing things like Age of Empires and uh, what's Total, Total War games, the strategy games, what are they called? Uh, Turn-based strategy games, Total War. A uh, um, bit of Metal Gear Solid from time to time. I actually had a long part of my life where I didn't play any games. I had no console. I did. I had a PC that I could play games on, but I just kind of went off gaming. When I when I basically transitioned from young adult slash student to uh, to an adult, I yeah just sort of stopped playing games at all really, and just went into being a dad and being doing jobs and stuff like that and then it took me a long time to get back into actually enjoying games it took me uh, it took me quite a long time after me and Jack's mum separated to uh, for me to get back into it and I'm, I'm glad I did because I really enjoy it now 
I had bought myself a Xbox 360 about a year or two after it's happened and I enjoyed playing quite a lot of the games on there. Ooh, Age of Empires, says Jesse B. Yeah, and they're making a new one. Age of Empires 4 is coming out soon. I didn't even know there was a 3, but apparently, yeah, Age of Empires 4 is coming out relatively... I say relatively soon. It'll probably be a while yet still. How did you become such a good YouTuber, says Why I Exist. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much for saying I'm a good YouTuber. I appreciate that. Um, it seems a little bit big-headed of me to explain how I became such a good YouTuber when I'm technically still a very, very small YouTuber compared to a lot of people. Um, but I, I, I don't know, it's dedication, I guess, putting time into it, not worrying too much about the numbers and the figures and how many people are following and subscribing to you and just doing what you want to do and enjoy doing it is, is, if you like, my secret. So, yeah, just do that. How hard could it be? Alice is my daughter and my name is not an Alice in Wonderland reference, says uh, Alice's mum. Okay, fair enough. And Alice is completely bored with not being able to play with her friends, says Alice's mum. Yeah, that's that must be tricky. Hey, Foxy, sorry I'm late, says Liam. Don't worry about it, Liam. You're, they're, you know, you're not late. You can always watch anything you've missed back on the second channel if you need to, so don't worry about it. Fork or a spoon, says Dr. Oriable. Fork or a spoon? Ooh. Now, there, that is a tricky question because, right, a fork, if it's... Yeah, you can pretty much do everything with the fork that you can do with the spoon. But you well, you can't no, you like you can't you can't eat loads of gravy with a with a fork. And you yeah, no a spoon I think. I think a spoon. <laughs> it's got to be spoon. It's the only answer. Foxy, quality over quantity of subs, says Data. That's what I try for. Has Big Chicken arrived yet, says Lofty. No, his computer's still not working. I heard they're making a new Age of Empires. I really enjoy it when I was younger, so I'll probably get the next one. You give it a go too? Yeah, I think so too as well, Jesse. Now, Sporks. People are saying Sporks. I hate Sporks. Sporks are so annoying because the teeth on them aren't long enough to stab into your food. What's the point in having... Uh, you know, a fork that you can't stab into your food. That's the whole point of the fork. It's the stabby bit. So, uh, yeah, don't. I don't like sporks. Sporks are no good. No good at all. Get rid of them. They're fi fired, they are. Get out of here with your talk of spork. Thinking you're clever. Well played, says Dr. Horrible. <laughs> you're welcome. Anything else? Any more questions? There's a few of you here. I can't imagine uh, why. Why? Yeah, yeah. You could. More questions. Did we finish off this top layer? I think we did, didn't we? So we just need the buttons now. I could potentially put another layer on this, but when they add the spawning changes in the next one, in the next update in 1.16, there's no point because at the bottom I won't be able to actually reach the top level anyway. So I think we'll just go straight for the roof at the uh, at that level there. So let's get up to that and let's build half a roof. We'll g I guess we probably want the roof out from this sort of distance as well. So it's going to actually cover it. In fact, we might need to go a few more blocks out from that. So where's the edge? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's go six, seven out from the edge. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep the whole thing in darkness there. Buffer in, says Mitz. Oh, yeah, it looks a little bit jittery at my end as well. So I apologise about that. Um, yeah, my bit rate's all over the place. I don't think it's me though. Don't think it's me. I think it's I think it's Twitch. Are there any older characters that are going to make an appearance in the future, like Rodney or the Saints or Eternal? Oliver really wants me to bring Rodney and uh, Fox's enemy back into it. He's watching a lot of my videos at the minute, so that may happen. We'll see. Blue says, or another new game other than Room. What do you mean, other than Room? Oh, uh, did you check out Last Oasis? No, I've not heard of it. What was your favourite update for Minecraft? Ooh, crikey. Um, no idea. 
can't even remember the updates. <laughs> oh, Doom. Other than Doom. Another new game other than Doom. Well, I've downloaded Subnautica. Uh, I've been watching, obviously, PewDiePie's playing that at the minute. And um, one, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it actually looks really good. I never gave it any credit when it first came out. I didn't, it didn't think it would be something that I'd enjoy, but I never really watched anyone play it. And I've been watching him play it and it looks really interesting. So I thought that would, that could be something worth streaming on the other channel. And it's got a few votes to be streamed on. So uh, that's also, because it's family friendly, I could potentially stream that on this channel as well. So that might be worth something worth thinking about doing. Would you, would any, if you would think that would be something you'd like to see, and don't just say it because you think it's what I want to hear. If you genuinely think you would tune into a Subnautica stream on this channel, give me a thumbs up in the chat or a hands up in the chat. Let me know what you think. Everyone's just on the interwebs at once, says Jesse B. Yeah, they are. They're all stealing my internet, mate. How dare they? Who do they think they are, Ray? I'm going to start calling them swear words in a minute if they don't get off my internet. I'm going to say, hey you, swear word. What the swear do you think you're doing on my swearing internet? That's it. Get out. I'm fired. Internet tubes are clogged, says Bummy Bum. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Is this another time travel stream, says Liam? Nope. This is uh, it's back to normal now. Everything's back to normal, so don't worry. Yeah, I like Subnautica, says Blue. Uh, says Dean, sorry. And Blue is there with the hands up. So there's only one person out of all 51 of you that are currently here. There were 67 a minute ago, so I guess we're losing some as the stream's breaking down. Uh, <laughs> one person that is remotely interested in seeing that. Oh, and Atomic Crafter there as well. Don't know what it is, so maybe. What is Subnautica? It's um, kind of like Minecraft, but underwater and looking very pretty. It's a very pretty looking game. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Richie Cranium says, wait, I'm watching you on bleeping interwebs. Thank you for self-censoring there. I appreciate it. Do you still need to cover the roof in half lads to get the surface spawns that they're actually in the dark? I think you do at the minute, Isu. Also, we obviously, we don't want anything spawning on the roof either. So two reasons to cover it in half slabs, really. I mean, we could just torch it up. But I think it would make more sense to half slab it, to be fair. Oh, I can't quite reach. And uh, Subba, Subba Kios. Subba Kios? Sub Vakius has just followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Sorry for butchering your name. I hope you're enjoying the stream. And I hope you're having a good day. What are you doing? I'm uh, placing lots of stand sandstone above this mob farm at the minute. What are you doing? I'm watching your live stream. Oh, thank you very much. Never seen Subnautica, says Jesse. Okay. I thought it was more popular game than um, I'm obviously giving it credit for. It's been around ages. I think Markiplier a long, 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 long time ago did a uh, Let's Play on it. Quite a long one, actually, if I, from what I remember. Not that I watch Markiplier, but um, I believe that was the thing. It's not a bad game, Jesse. I'd probably get down with that, says uh, Richard Cravian. Don't speak to Jesse like that. She's not an object, mate. She's got feelings too. Can't just talk to women like that. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the game. Half slabs must be spawning belief if I call correctly. Uh, it makes it better. You get surface and cave cap spawns if you use uh, half slabs underneath. I'm interested in seeing Subnautica for what it's worth, says Isu. Okay. Hey, I just did. Thank you for reminding me, though. I guess the stream delay is uh, quite bad at the minute. Are we going to do another stream delay test? I'll say three, two, one, go. You guys hit the enter button when you've got go ready to chat. Okay, you ready? Get get it ready in your in your little chat message. I'm going to say it. Three, two, one, go. Eleven seconds. Yeah, so it's it's more than double what it was before. Jeez, so that, that has got quite bad. Are you going to try for passive spawns on the uncovered top layer? Um, well, that's not a bad idea. Put some grass up there. That's not a bad idea at all. Good thinking. That's a really good idea. Good thinking. And uh, someone also said, do I need to put buttons on those top two layers? 
Do you know, the mobs walk off regardless. They just seem to walk off quicker when the buttons are there. So I might just leave it, but I, I should put buttons on, really. And there we go. There's a lot of ghosts still coming through. So there's a huge delay for some of you. Some of you got delay for, like, nearly a minute. Jeez. What did Dorsal just say there? I missed that. Are you going to try... Oh, that was the passive spawns bit. Sorry, Dorsal. Never caught your name while I read it. You don't have to crouch when building. You can just tap in front. Yeah, you can. But look, if I... Whoa. Ah, now look. I'm trying, I'm trying to demonstrate. Ah! That's your fault. Whoever it was. Trying to demonstrate. Now look. Ah, jeez. Plax is followed. Thank you. And get V-Team kills has followed as well. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Jeez, guys. Pushing me off like that. I was trying to show you something and you... You just pushed me off the edge. Okay. Let me show you. Show you something. If I try and do it off the edge here, I'm going to place them down there, you see. I don't want to place them down there. I want to place them up here. So that only works if you haven't got blocks. Great. Below where you're going to place them. Wear the siren hat for five minutes is why I exist. All right, fine. Put that siren hat on. Speaking of Fox's enemy, there he is, look, because I've been playing with Oliver in Minecraft. There you go. Five minutes in counting. Mr. Anderson has his wood for sale. You should need buttons, says Isu. Yes. Yeah, I will uh, check that out when I run out. But thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think I might be a bit delayed, says Afghan. I think you might. Right, so we're only going halfway across this thing. I want to say that there's a skeleton there. Oh, there we go. We're getting things spawning up here. Let's see if they just walk off. See, the spider did, but he can pathfind down to those blocks below. Will those guys just walk off? I think they will. They are pathfinding around it, though, so maybe not. Maybe we do need the buttons. But I'm going to sleep, though, because what I don't want is uh, loads of mobs <laughs> gathering up there while I'm working on this thing. Sleep! Sleep, please! More sleep, quicker. Thank you. I like that you play with Oliver. Does Jack still enjoy it? Is he too old for it now? Do you know what? Jack's actually still enjoys it, although we don't really play together much because when we play online together, because I'm not seeing him at the minute um, because he's, of everything that's going on, he's staying at his mum's house. So uh, when we're playing online, we play. Well, we, we did a couple of hours of Age of Empires yesterday we're going to do another couple of hours tomorrow uh, he tends to choose other games other than minecraft but he does still like playing minecraft he plays it on his ps4 mostly which means he can't join the realms and servers which is really annoying oliver and i did a uh, we recorded a video another one we've recorded three now although i haven't edited uh, the other two and put them up because i don't know it just feels a little bit weird but yeah he's um we did one on the truly bedrock world because he wanted to go and find Slack um, and he was quite disappointed that he couldn't find Slack. And I was like, oh, well, he's not going to be here. He's probably doing something. He's busy doing something else. So, yeah, we made a video on there. Hello, Foxy. I hope you and your family are doing well, says Minecraft Dude. Thank you very much. They are at the moment. How are yours? I hope all yours are as well. That jump scared me, says Afka. What, what jump scared you? What did? What was the jump scare, mate? I think you actually technically need to go 12 blocks off the sides, don't you, in order to cover the uh, the underneath properly darkly, but we'll, we'll see what happens. And I got a dead link there, but I can't see Oh, it's a YouTube subscription. Great. When are you going to stop telling me about those stream labs? I don't need to know about those. When I'm streaming on Twitch, thank you. Whee Where's my boxes? There they are. Look. There they are. Oh, good. I've got loads left. I thought I'd thought I was running out already. Phew. Phew. Right, let's turn these into the nice, the nice. Pre Ow! Wow. Thanks, crafting bench. Messed everything up again. I suppose I'm going to need some of those anyway to layer it up at the top. That's not what I wanted to do. My son plays other games, more than Minecraft now as well, says uh, Richie. Yeah, I think they get to a certain age, don't they? Although I'm pretty sure 
if you could join realms and stuff on PS4, we'd be playing lots of minigame stuff. We did, we were playing some Java minigames the other day, but his connection wasn't very good, so we kept getting kicked. So, uh, and I think the Java minigames are really, really like suffering as well at the minute because there's just so many players on all the time. It's ridiculous. I think seven out is fine, Foxy. Daylight is 14, Sports is seven or less light. I thought that was the case, but I something in my head says it should be 12, so we'll see. Jesse says, oh, wait, Age of Empires is a lot more fun to play with others. That's awesome. But Jack enjoys it. Most people know, find it boring. Yeah, he was a little bit frustrated, though, because I'm just, I don't know. We we have, like, a gentleman's rule that we don't attack each other until we've had a chance to, like, build a base up and everything. So we normally spend about an hour just gathering resources and building a base. We played without any AI on as well the last time. And he doesn't... He puts all of his effort into boats, and he doesn't get enough people, so he doesn't gather enough resources, he doesn't get enough villagers. So I always just annihilate him, because I, I get like a hundred villagers, get all the wood, all the stone, all the gold I can find, and then uh, then just get all of the, like, do all of the upgrades, get the best out wet people, and I go over to him, and he's just got, like, loads of boats, but no army, and his army's really weak, because he's not upgraded everything, and I keep reminding him, you need to make sure you upgrade everything. But, uh, yeah, so he's a bit frustrated this time. I just came and wiped him out. He thought he was safe. We spawned in on separate little islands. And he, he thought he was quite safe. But he wasn't. <laughs> Our cousin got banned for a month using hacks in a minigame. Says, well, you shouldn't use hacks in minigames then, really. So as you're right, mate. Problem with multiplayer. Well, not the problem. The thing about multiplayer is that there are other people playing on it. And if you don't play fairly, you deserve whatever you get. So, um... I mean, if it was me, I personally, if I was if I was hosting any sort of minigame thing, like, well, I suppose, or if I was just hosting any server like these, if I found out somebody was cheating, they wouldn't just get a temporary ban, they'd just be gone. Because if you're not a team player, then you don't, you shouldn't be playing on multiplayer things. Yeah, my bud was on Switch PS4 and I play on the Xbox, so, says Richard Gradium. Yeah, it's not ideal. LOL mean Mr. Nota. Why is it mean? Why does that mean? That's like saying I don't want to, you know, don't want bullies in my group of friends. Would you want would you want bullies in your friendship group? My wife tells me to let my son win. I don't think that teaches the right messages as a teenager. There's when I I don't like winning against him, but and I do take it easier than I would if I was playing somebody else, but I do like him to learn the hard lessons and and I think that's important, but I do also do it as a learning thing. So I'll explain to him why he didn't win and how he could have won and what he could have done differently in order to do that so that he doesn't just go away from it feeling like a failure because there's nothing worse than feeling like a failure. So I do try really hard to make sure that he doesn't go away from it feeling sad and useless. And we just got followed by somebody whose name is very long with lots of binary coding in and I don't understand. So welcome to the, uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you for following. Oh, you were talking about being mean for annihilating Jack. Well, I did it. I didn't make... Ah. Bullies build characters, says Data. <laughs> hmm. To a certain extent, I agree with that statement, but it still uh, doesn't excuse them and there's still no reason for wanting them around. But yeah. Uh, we have an English speaking chat here, please. Thank you. If you we don't, yeah, you've um, you've been blocked, mate. <laughs> oh no, you've but Mitz has blocked a term. Thanks, Mitz. If you're not going to speak in English, you'll get you'll just get blocked. This is no offence, you know, but this is an English speaking chat. We don't know what you're saying. Sorry. Thank you, Mitz, again. Sorting out the ruffians. And Lawrence has followed as well. Thank you very much for the follow, Lawrence. Did I miss that? Did I already say that? I don't think I did, did I? Thank you. I need to go and find the centre of this in a second. I don't want to build this uh, this roof too big. I started getting quite a lot of Russian messages in my um, my YouTube comments after we started 
Trudy Bedrock Season Zero with Zloy, obviously a lot of his Russian followers were following. And they would leave Russian comments, and I'd have no idea what they said, so I would just delete them. And then it felt bad doing it, but I, you know, I don't want to have to keep copying and pasting everything into Google Translate to try and figure out if they're being nice or if they're saying things they shouldn't be saying. So, um, yeah, I think I think it's fair to say if you're an English-speaking channel and you've got English-speaking audience, then it should all be English, really. It's good not just to let your kids win, though, says Jesse. Yeah, I agree. My grandparents always let the kids win, and it it's uh, it's nice, but they don't learn anything from that, other than learning to be they learn to be frustrated when they don't win elsewhere. And I really dislike that about the school policies now. All the schools are like, oh, everybody's in first place, and they all get a medal for taking part. Like, well, you're just teaching them that they can't lose, and then that's not how life works. You need to learn in life that things are tough and you're always going to be in competition with people. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Lawrence, this is what you're building. I'm building the roof of my mob farm. This is a mob farm. It's also a squid farm. And it will also be a passive mob farm as well. Right now I'm building a roof on it. And I'm just building it, making sure it's... This is the center line here. So I need it to be uh, about four blocks over from that. So one, two, three, four. And I think that'll be far enough for the whole thing. Data says, teach them valuable lessons. Indeed, yeah. When I was at school, you know, I learned that I was going to be one of the last people picked on the football team. I learned that I was <laughs> not the sort of intelligent enough person to be getting the the awards for being really clever. I wasn't going to be getting any of the music awards for being really, really good at an instrument. And as a result, my trophy cabinet is empty. I don't have any medals or trophies because they didn't have trophies for being really, really good at Minecraft or... <laughs> Or having, uh, you know, being good at computer science or anything like that. They had trophies for the the clubs and stuff. And I was relatively antisocial in that way. I didn't like joining the clubs and I wasn't very... I was on the basketball team um, and I played a little bit as a... I played as a reserve on the football team. But yeah, they, I didn't really put myself in a position to win. But I, that taught me, you know, that growing up, if I wanted to win something, I had to work really hard for it. And Thomas the Space has just raided. Hello, Thomas the Space. Thank you for the raid. Woo woo. How was your live stream? Did you have a good time? And the key of Pell has just followed as well. Thank you very much. How was your stream? Was it good? Space Raid, says Thomas the Space. Lots of Thomas the Space emojis in the chat there. Thanks for coming along. We're just talking about how useless I am. <laughs> he didn't die, says Jumpy Spider Lady. Well, that's good. Excellent news. Well done. Right, we're nearly there with this roof. We've got to do this. Oh, excuse me. Slabs on top as well. And then that'll have that roof done. But now we've got this in place. That witch spawner should be permanently activated. Oh, and I've run out again. Oh, man. Let's hop down. It's just about night time. Oh, there we go. Look, yeah. Lots of mobs and that witch spawner is on when we're close enough to it, which is good. Oh, I'm going to miss, aren't I? Ah, let me out. Let me out, please. Put that there. Whee. Let's have a sleep. Let's get some slabs. Can only sleep at night. Great. All right, we'll sort out our slabs and things before we go back up there then. So we only need a few more blocks. The rest of it can be pretty much slabs, which is good. Good news. But we want it all to be cut sandstone. Don't want any of that horrible not cut sandstone. We've got way too much of it there. Put all of that back, and let's turn the rest all into slabs. Many, 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 many. There we go. All right, now we can take those out of there. Grab those. Have a sleep. Doc says, I am one of the first because I am 12 and doing calculus and I got two music awards and two honour roll medals and three medals for races. Wow. Data says, Foxy is not useful. Uh, not useless, sorry. And Thomas of Faces, says, I had a great time playing some half-hearted hardcore hardcore mode with half a heart maximum health. Wow. And you didn't die? Amazing. That sounds very, very tricky. That sounds really tricky. <laughs> 
Oh, and I've had this silly hat thing on for way too long. Let's turn it off again. What you building? Says uh, Jumpy Spider Lady. I'm building at the minute the roof on my mob. F it's a multi-purpose mob farm. So it's a mob farm that also has a witch spawner. And it also spawns squids and dolphins and fish. And soon it will spawn passive mobs as well. So it's a multi-purpose mob farm. It's not finished. But we're not far off, to be honest with you. Well, there's a skeleton there that's going to try and ruin my day. Clear off, skeleton. <gasps> no! Ah, I told you it was going to ruin my day. Right, we'll just... Whoa. Wow. There's Thomas to space with his... Oh, I've been doing super hard, hardcore with half a heart. And I didn't die. And there's me chucking all my stuff off into the void. Excellent. Good job, Foxy Notel. <laughs> this is why I didn't get any medals at school. It's exactly the reason. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it appears I've lost my food as well, or maybe that's just one of the things I couldn't pick up. My tools I've still got those, so that's a good sign. Face palm? Face palm? Well, your face that's not a face palm moment, is it? It's not like I jumped off. Ah. Oh. Hands up if you, in the chat if you think it's a face palm moment. If you think it is, I'll, I'll, I'll hit the face palm button. I don't think it is. Oh, we've got two face palm requests, though. Oh, come on, guys. It's not, though. Ah! Nearly did it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fine. All right. You can have a face palm for it. The second one today! You mean. You lot are mean. Well, you respawn, says Thomas' face. That is true. That is true. I would be absolutely useless in hard, hardcore. I wouldn't last five minutes. I would not last five minutes. Even with like double health bar and regeneration potions, I'd still be out. And Shep's here. What up, dude? Says Shep. Straight in there with his face palm thing. You keep falling, jumping each time. I don't know if you're going to hit the ground, says Afghan. Oh, I see. I see. I like to leave it to the last minute to deploy my elite tree, see. Every time I've died so far on your server, I've had a totem. Been super lucky, says Dartum. Yeah, I don't believe in totems or shields. Get in my way. <laughs> That's probably where I'm going wrong. Can I reach? No. Oh, come on, let me reach. There we go. We'll do this bit from down here. It's fine. We've got this. Me and you both, says Jesse B. Shep says, I was doing it to support the other face palms. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always face palming me, you are. It's like your favourite button. To... Yeah, that and the suddenly pineapples is like your favourite button to press. Ah! I fall off. Right, there we go. That's that done. So all we need to do now is do the entire thing again, but with slabs. But it should be a bit easier this time because we don't have to um, we don't have to crawl about. Nice. Very good. Right, let's get a bunch of slabs. Why have I swapped out my food? There we go. Suddenly, pineapples. There we go. See? Told you. Bet that was Shep. Yep. I knew it. He's the suddenly pineapple person. Suddenly, pineapples. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. I like it. I like that one. It makes me chuckle on the inside. It reminds me of Paddington. It's not from Paddington, but that's what it reminds me of. Many, many slabs. We got this, guys. Tomska is suddenly the pineapples person. Who's Tomska? Who is Tomska? Is that someone from Slack's chats? I don't know who it is, mate. You have to explain. A YouTuber. Ah. Oh. ASDF. What's that stand for? Probably don't tell me if it's rude. <laughs> Very Paddington-esque, says Shep. Well, people always seem to be really shocked when... Um, 
when I've not heard of their favourite YouTubers. You've got to remember, there's like literally millions and millions of YouTubers from all over the world. And even if they've got several million subscribers, there's billions of people watching YouTube. So the chances of everyone else having known them is really slim. Like, people say, oh, so-and-so Minecraft YouTuber that was on this particular Minecraft SMP server. And I'm like, scratching my head going, well, uh, who's that? How do you not know? Well, because I, I don't... Because I don't really watch that many other YouTubers <laughs> playing Minecraft. I only watch a handful. So it's it's really difficult to keep up with all these things. So just don't always be shocked if somebody doesn't know. Just because you're really into something, that's you. Everybody else has had a completely different way of growing up and experiences and everything else like that. So never assume everyone's in the same boat. And oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, ooh woo boy is <laughs> followed. Something else I, I don't understand and have no reference for. The, the whole ooh woo thing, I don't get it. What is it? Where did it come from? Is it a meme? Suddenly pineapples always reminds me of you and McGregor. What? How does it remind you of you and McGregor? Cheesy stream has followed as well. Thank you very much. Thanks for the follow. You don't know the YouTubers, and you don't know YouTuber from that one OSP. Whoa, says Thomas in Spain. <laughs> what YouTubers do you watch, says Tommy Crafter? Um, pretty much, mainly, just Izuma and Mumbo Jumbo for the Minecraft stuff. And obviously, I watch quite a few of the Truly Bedrockers when they've put important videos and like storyline stuff out, or videos they're particularly proud of. Uh, I watch the Hermitcraft recap. I... Yeah, I bet that was Dean. Oh, it's a Scorch. I watch the slow-mo guys. I watch a little bit of PewDiePie from time to time. Sometimes he's I feel like he's completely lost the plot, and other times I think he's really sensible and down-to-earth. I can't make my mind up on that guy. Uh, who, let me have a look at my... Um, let me have a look at my list of people I'm subscribed to that I actually gen watch. I used to watch a bit of Ant Venom, but... He started really getting on my nerves the way, the way he's over, he massively ho over hypes everything he talks about now, and I just don't, don't like it. Element Animation, absolutely love, think that's brilliant. They've put out a new video yesterday, it was really funny. Uh, what else? How It Should Have Ended, or He She, as it's known. I've watched that. Uh, oh, Bad Lip Readings, really funny. That's really, that's brilliant, I like that. Screen rant occasionally, but again, a bit like Ant Venom, they just massively they go. It's all it's all clickbait and shock stuff, and you never actually get anything interesting in the videos. But I I always end up falling for it and watching those anyway. Uh, who else? I used to watch a lot of Stampy and I Ballistic Squid, but I haven't watched them for a long time. The film theorists and the game theorists, I watched those, and that oh, and some of the virtual reality Oasis stuff. And that is literally it. That's it. That's my whole YouTube lineup there. Jesus Stream says, is this in TB? No, it's not. This is um, uh, Super Chunk Block. It's my patron server. Or one of them. It's my top tier one. Aunt Venom annoys me too, says Crystal Cat. Yeah. ASDF movies seem right up your alley, Foxy. I don't know what it is. Jesse B says, no idea, just every time I hear it played, I just think of Ewan's voice. It don't sound anything like him. Must be one of those across the water things. I think every from, anyone from the UK sounds the same. <laughs> Sorry, gotta go, says Doc. No, okay, no worries. Thank you very much for coming along. I was waiting for me, but okay then, says Shep. Yeah, no, sorry, Shep. I'm <laughs> not going to lie to you. I don't watch your videos. <laughs> I don't. I don't watch hardly anyone's um, videos regularly, like that. I would consider as a friends to, and I, it's not a. It's not an insult to you. It's just I have very little time to watch YouTube, and when I do watch it, I watch the people that I really click with that I enjoy watching. So, if I had all the time in the world, maybe I'd watch more videos of people that I wanted to support more. But it's just one of those things. Lol, I don't think everyone sounds the same though, says Jesse. No, don't worry about it, it's fine. I kind I kind of get it, but Ewan's Ewan McGregor's I don't know. deeper and Scottish for a start. 
A SDF movie has like 12 parts. Right, okay. How to teach someone Minecraft is the autumn UK. Give him a link to YouTube. Show him where the search bar is. I was 100% joking, this got serious, says Shep. Well. Something Everyone outside the UK sounds like Larry and Cable Guy. It's Larry the Cable Guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly pineapples. I've run out of slabs. It's night time. Is it working, though? Is it working? Is it doing the trick? We're getting loads of... Oh, look at all those spiders getting clogged up in there. That was supposed to be fixed. Ah! We're stuck. Help. Let me out, please. Any witches spawning? We getting any witches? Yeah, there we go. Hey, witches. How are you doing, witches? And is this thing actually running? It is. And it's keeping up as well. The old trident killer's doing a jo good job. We've been here a while. How are the chests doing? Oh, look at all that XP. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah we've got a reasonable amount of stuff through there. Got a lot of the tridents. What if a guy wants to learn from me, says that awesome KK. Uh, make YouTube videos. <laughs> Expert level 99 sh shenanigans, says uh, Commander Kevin. Well, it's not that it sounds like him. It just makes me think of him, says Jesse. What? That makes even less sense. You're not making any sense today. While YouTube is lobe. What? Play survival with him. Yeah, that would help. Yeah, just play. Play together. And don't take the mickey. Just show him how to do it, actually do it. Good thinking, Jumpy Spider Lady. What are we doing today, Foxy? Says Johnny Dwayer. I am putting a uh, roof on my multi-purpose mob, passive mob, squid, fish farm, and witch farm. And then I'm going to replace that top layer over there that you can just about see with some grass instead of those things. So we can get some passive mobs on there as well. And then I'm going to go around and put buttons on everything. And then it will be 100% complete. What's what are we lolling at Mitz for? What's Mitz done? Oh no! <laughs> oh Mitz! <laughs> Why you do this to me? Oh sorry guys, it's time for the end of the stream. I gotta go. Oh jeez. Ah. 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 Fine. Okay. Right. Back in a minute. Big chicken. What do you want? You gotta come down the stream. Oh, not to get. Oh, okay, hang on a minute. He's coming. Hang on. Oh, okay. What is going on here? Hopefully, the microphone is moot, so they cannot hear me talk yet. I work out what is going on here. There we go, and now I unmute the microphone like that. Was muted already! Oh, sorry! I did not know. Okay, so it looks like uh, Fox No Tail is in the process of remove all of these slabs from roof. I can do this for him, not a problem. Yes, very, very easily. I have five minutes to get rid of all of the... Oh, there's a lot of slabs on this thing. Well, it should not take me too long. I have good pickaxe. I can do it very easily. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Lemon squeezes. Ah, why I get hurt? What hurt me? Something hurt me? What was it? Okay, anyway, well, I will carry on. I will keep take all of the slabs from here. Hello, the internet of peoples. How is many chatting going on today? You are doing a good job. Yes, you have paid many, many diamonds to make me do uh, the uh, the live stream again. Yes, I am. Uh, I am helping Mr. Nutel get rid of all of the slabs. I am doing a good job. Why is people say face palming? Thorns armor in the trident killer, says the darter. What is a trident killer? Where is it? I hope he's not coming to get Suddenly, me. Pineapple. A trident killer? That sounds like a, a bad guy, end level boss or something. Look out! It's the trident killer! He's coming to get me! Help! 
Tartu says, Big Chicken, do not forget to toss the slabs over the edge into the void. I think Mr. Notail probably would like to put them away somewhere. I think if he is mining them, he's collect them, yes? Or was that what he was doing? Everybody say in the chat, if that is what he was doing with the slabs, just throw them over the edge. I can do this, that is not problem. But I don't know. I don't know, he has gone out of the room, I cannot ask him. Break Foxy's farm big chicken. That does not sound like a very nice thing to do. That does... Oh no, I am stuck on top of the farm. Oh my goodness, there is bad guys. And uh, sounds like there is a trident killer roaming about the place that is going to kill me. Was throwing them off, says Shepard. Are you sure? Why I exist says no? He was throwing them over the edge. Says this spy. Ha! This spy. I am being thrown over the edge. Ha! Stop! Oh my goodness. That awesome KK, you say that you have seen Foxy eating chicken? I do not think so. We had the conversation last time. He has been eating bread now. Look, even bread on the floor when I die. I know he has not been eating chicken. It is okay. No bin them. He does not need them, says the Dean. Hey, look! Who is this guy? Hey, excuse me, sir. What, what are you doing here? Look at all this XP. Wow, I like it. I will take that. Hey, hey, dude. What is your name? You will bring different items next time. What do you bring items for? Why are you here? What are you doing over in this place? Don't a messed organ. Bee. Don't touch your. I won't touch your bee. You don't touch my bee. I won't touch your bee. I won't touch my bee. Okay. What is going on here? Many, many things. You got diamonds for say for cobblestone? Are you a madman? You sell I diamonds for cobblestone? Nice. You know how many people want diamonds and they got loads of cobblestone? Just look. They go over the edge here, they dig down into the cobblestone, they give it to you. I cannot believe it. You are a madman. Don't forget to use throw useless stabs. Uh, are you sure everybody is saying throw these slabs over the edge? Is this, this correct? Yes? Oh, I, I am not sure if I should be doing this or not. You think I just... I throw them off the edge, yes? Yeah, everybody is saying, oh, okay, fair enough. If that is what is supposed to be going on, I will throw the slabs over the... Big chicken, no! Don't do it! Pardon what you say? I said don't do it! He said, carry on throwing them over the edge. No problem, I will do it for you. One there, one there, one there. I think I think maybe I should stop now. I, I heard banging around in the other room. Hang on one moment. What? What is the problem? I said don't do it! Don't throw them off the edge! I'm putting them on the roof! Oh! Oh, he says he has put them on the roof! <gasps> I just throw so many away! Do not tell him! It wasn't me! I didn't throw any away, Foxy! It's okay! I... They catch them all again! It's fine! I better put them back quickly! He will tell me off! Here we go! Oh my goodness, I'm going to get in so much trouble now! You are all so bad, you know. You are not not good people, you know. Why you want to make Foxy have to get them all again and get me into trouble? Last time I tell him off for eat chicken. Now this time you want me to get dealt off? Big chicken, you fly. Are you not seen flying chicken before? I see flying chicken is very common where I come from. You get chicken, you go up to very tall building, you throw chicken out, chicken fly. And then you have chicken dinner. Mmm, very nice. Yeah, a joke, of course. You do not eat chicken. This is a joke that uh, my grandma told me. And uh, it made me cry. I don't really understand why it was a joke. But they stayed with me for my whole life. It was the day after she threw me out of the window. And there was a man at the bottom with a big saucepan. He says, I'm going to have chicken dinner tonight. And it make me fly. And they fly away. And this is how I learned to fly very easy miss worth every point you spent what you're welcome your desk I did you're very confused fusing all of you people that tell things in the chat I think uh, my time is probably just about nearly over yes how what what time I, I do this it says uh, 
Uh, seven minutes! Oh my goodness me, I've been doing it too long. I better go and get Foxy in hotel now. I will thank you very much for including me in your video today. I will I will be back soon. Goodbye. I'm really sorry, Foxy. I, I did not mean to throw them all over the edge. They, they make me do it. They say in the chat, scroll up, you will see it. I'm going to tell you. Get out, go downstairs, put the TV back on, stop fiddling. And you better have muted the microphone, because if I hear everybody hearing me shouting at you again, they're going to think I'm the bad guy. Clear off. I want you out again. Go away. Oh, no, he didn't mute it. Oops. You heard nothing. You heard nothing. All right. Oh. Oh, you guys, you're bad. Making him throw my stuff in the void. You're all bad. <laughs> Your grandma is mean, says Crystal Cat. What's wrong with my grandma? Shep says, hide my comment. Finish off by jumping off the edge. Shep, have you been encouraging him? You're all bad, you lot. You're so bad. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. You're all bad. We all have, says Lofty. What, you've all been bad? Data says, I told him not to. I don't believe you. I'm going to scroll up through the chat later and find out who all of the all of the criminal, criminals are in this, this <laughs> organisation. He died on his own. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me at all. I'm just glad he didn't fall off into the void. I know what you mean. Nobody said nothing, says Cricket the White. Jesse started it all. Mm, it was Shep, says Dean. Yeah. Well, Mitz, Mitz was the one that paid for him, so I'm blaming it on Mitz. I'm going to be working over at her base next time I get him. Uh, <laughs> next time he comes on, I think. Minecraft, he realised this mistake and he was scared you'd be mad. Yeah. Well, you guys didn't help, did you? I was telling him that was the right thing to be doing. You're bad. Very bad. All I said is, you lot are mean. How's that my fault, says Jesse? Absolutely, Jesse. You seem to be the innocent party in all of this. A little bit like me. Both both innocent in this. I have all these bad guys. Bad guys in the chat. Hey, Wilf. How are you doing? What are you doing here? Anything good for sale today? This isn't my only selection. It's not your only selection? Oh. You mean you've got more? Somewhere else? Ah! No! Get off it! It's mine! Don't steal my sword. Have I got any cobblestone? Hey, hey, I didn't say a word. I just got him here, says Mitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Innocent as always. His old Mitz T cats. I see. I see. You knew things would happen if he got involved. You knew it. You've seen enough of my videos and been around my channel long enough to know if the, you got Big Chicken over in one of these streams, shenanigans was going to ensue. Big Chicken almost bought diamonds, did he? He struggled. Oh no, I suppose he, if he's using my account, he can get in my interest, so maybe he wouldn't struggle. That's a little bit worrying, actually. Hope, uh, oh, I've got 19 cobblestone. I hope Wilf doesn't sell bread. That's all I can say, because I would have had no cobblestone left. <laughs> but I'd have had lots of tasty bread. Right, so we've done the roof. So all we need to do now is replace quite a lot of it with uh, dirt. And then we can put the buttons on I guess how much dirt have we got not a massive amount we got enough we do get dirt from this machine so let's see if we've got any dirt in the, uh, the box of things oh we've got a bit of here yes oh that's not a bad amount actually not a bad amount I'll take it Lofty is right Jesse said it and we all joined in <gasps> Lofty you telltale you telltale can't believe you play me poor old Jesse B Poor old Jesse B. Poor Jesse, victim of slander, says Divica. Absolutely. Isu says, I'm not sure passive spawns are working well. I have not seen passive spawns in my area for a long time. Um, They're probably trapped underneath things then. Hello, Enderman. Well, that's a problem as well. Yeah, we'll get Enderman up here. If Maybe we could... Maybe we could put a half slab layer on here. If we have hard slabs there, will that stop squid and things spawning underneath it? But because we need to... I, when I logged in today, there were five Endermen down there. And that is a bit of a problem. 
because the Enderman will take up the mob cap and then more things won't spawn. Although having said that, I'm not AF AFKing at this thing when I'm not here anyway because Trident Killer should not be unattended. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. In my opinion. They're too lethal. You won't get Enderman there three tools this time. No, I don't want Enderman. I just want to stop them spawning on it altogether. But I, if I put a roof over the rest of it, I won't get any squid. And it won't get any passive spawns. So I was thinking if I put a slab layer, but no solid blocks, it'll stop the Enderman spawning. But it will hopefully still keep me... Um, still allow me to get Enderman and... Uh, no, not Enderman. Squids and stuff. You know what I mean? Jeez, words. Blame Jesse, says Shep. Good idea. No, poor old Jesse. Can't blame Jesse. Jesse's done nothing wrong today. We can blame Mitz. She spent the points to get Big Chicken in, says Lofter. Yep, yeah, even though we told her to. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, hopefully it'll take her a while to uh, accumulate a reasonable amount of stream points again and we won't have to put up with Big Chicken for a long time again soon. You lot, you're bad. Ah! Hello. Just thought I'd pop down there, check it out for a bit. Meant to do that. Honest, mate. All part of the plan. Whoa. Would le leaves work as a transparent block? They might, just actually. That's not a bad idea. And leaves are relatively easy to get as well. So, yes, that might that may well work. And that will certainly stop the Enderman from spawning. So, good shout on that one. Well done, Ajax. Good thinking. You just wait until Lofty turns in her points. Yeah, I know, right? We nearly got enough of Big Chicken to take over, says Lofty. Well... Save it for the next stream, Lofty. I don't think I can put up with another one of those uh, from Big Chicken today. Ah, did I not just pick those oh, blocks up? Just uh, topping down again, checking it all out, mate. Just making sure everything's all right at the top. Mitz, I've got, so I've still got 16k points. <laughs> not now, Mitz. You've caused enough problems today. No more. No more. Mills, he says, I have 26,600 points. Jeez, I'm going to have to start making it more difficult for you guys to get points. <laughs> I'll put the price up on Big Chicken, I think. That's probably... Je what? Jesse's got 25k? Yeah, that's it. Big Chicken price is going up. The price of chicken is going up. Demand is too high. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Where you get all those points from? Do well, do it while Fox is over the void. No. Oh, jeez. Hey guys, it's popping in. Hey. No, bad. Still don't have any depth strider. That would definitely be useful right now. Come on, let me fly. Come on. Bam it. Nope, it's not happening. We will get print from selling your merch, merch on the black market, clearly, says Isu. I'm always here and never spend any. Well, ah! Yeah, I wasn't paying any attention then. Thank you for always being here, Jesse. Thank you. Many XP! XP! Look how much XP you get from this thing. It's ridiculous. I don't even want the XP. I just want the bits and the blocks. If the price is going up, then we should get it in now, right, says Afghan. Nah, I, I'd save you money. Definitely save you money. Don't you go off, creepers. I saw you. I saw you creeping. Where did they... Oh, they fell in. That's good. Excellent. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, there's no point in doing that one, so we just need to shave off these ones here. Replace it all with mud. Mud, 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 mud. Get rid of those. Nicely done. There we go. A little bit more. Very good. Excellent. Right then, let's pick these ones up. 
and we'll go and get back on the top and put it all back on again. I know there's a lot of blocks that I've dropped and I haven't got back, but let's be honest. There's not let's not cry over a couple of spilt blocks, you know. Let's not worry about it too much. Oof. No, 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 no. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I need 2k points for big chicken, says Lofty. Hang on, hang on a minute, guys. I've got just to sort something out a second. Uh, channel points. Enable channel points. Edit. Uh, manage rewards. Um, <laughs> edit. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Sorted. <laughs> Foxy, you haven't, says Lofty. <laughs> they haven't what? No, says Thomas the Space. 30,000 now. <laughs> Lol, 30 games is fair, says Jesse. I think so. I think that's fair. Ow! A lot of things going down there with thorns on. Ow! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> that's what you get that's what you get for throwing my bits off the edge if you hadn't have been mean with it if you'd have been good with it and you hadn't have teased big chicken and made him do bad things then we could have kept it and we could have had it as a regular thing now this let this be a lesson to you all you've ruined it for yourselves <laughs> if you're all good i might reduce it again for the next stream but we'll see you have to be good but if you abuse it again, you get big chicken chucking my stuff into the void. <laughs> You're going to all be in trouble. Do you understand? <laughs> I knew it had to be raised, but I think you could double it. Only quickly for, for now, while we're on this stream. <laughs> no one said they had more than 30k points, so I thought I was safe. It was chicken though, says why I exist. It wasn't. It's you guys. I saw it. I saw the chat. On the right side, no one can afford to abuse it, says Quick of the Wise. Exactly. There you go. See? Ow! Give me that block. No, I don't understand, says Dean. What don't you understand? Oh, I just saw a creeper over there. You don't understand, Big Chicken didn't have to do it. You, like a million people in chat said told him to. He doesn't know what I'm getting up to on here. Ah! Oh, that was a real one. Oops. I thought it was fake again. Ah. See, that's Dean's fault for always playing the, <laughs> the creeper explode noise. Jeez. Gosh darn creepers with their gosh darn explosions. All of my gosh darn base. Oh, look. Tut, tut, tut. Blowing up all my gravel and my grass. But AJ's hey, putting all that grass in there. Can't believe it. Who would have thunk it? Why, Foxy, why? Says Johnny the Gamer. Why what? Why what? Foxy, bring points down for Big Chicken. I will for the next stream, don't worry. <laughs> oh, Diver Cat, that was mean. Dean, it's not my fault. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You've hardened my skin to creeper noises. Good timing, Diver. That was really good timing. Very good timing. You punch your meanies. <laughs> 50k points, big chicken build a penthouse. <laughs> I don't think big chicken should be building anything. <laughs> I don't think I trust him with much. Oh, dear me. Right. We've now got a passive spawn area, which is good. We just need loads of buttons now. Which is going to be really good fun because we've got all of those things there. And we did say we, we'd put something at the top as well to stop the Enderman, potentially. So we need to consider that as well. Oh, we didn't, get, we didn't have much dirt left at the end of that, did we? 
Good job you didn't have big chicken on when you were throwing all my dirt away. That Enderman's like, what's going on here? Why are you killing all my mates? No comment. Don't know what you're talking about, Enderman. Eat, Foxy! All right, I'll eat. Bring Mr. Onion in as well, says Lofty. I need to add that as well, yeah. Buttons, says Chemist. I know, I bought it. I bought it. We need to go to the shop and get some buttons from the button shop. That's where we need to be. They will leave those there for now. Let's go turn this thing off. I'm not I'm not convinced it will be uh, all right if we leave it on. It probably will be okay, but just in case. Excuse me, Enderman. I need to turn it off, mate. Get all that XP! Oh, look! Double chest full of stuff. Just from working on the roof. Very nice. Mr. Barbecue too? Oh, we don't want him doing the streams. No way. Let's just go around bothering people. Got any jobs, mate? That's all he ever does. I pop it first pop in here. The first thing I hear about is Big Chicken. It's just a good day. <laughs> that XP. That's sweet XP. It's good, isn't it? I love XP. No, we kill... Off Mr. Barbecue's is lofty. Thanks, Yep. Cheered me up a bit with the pineapples. Spruce. Oh, what flavour button should we have? Oak. Spruce. Oh, look at all this wood. If anyone mentions charcoal, then that's absolutely fine, but I shan't be doing that. Right. Uh, one stack. For one stack of bits. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, that's expensive. Should be free. <laughs> I ain't got any bit. Oh man, we we'll have to go back to Mob Farm and see if we've got any bits. I spent all my bits today, mate. We can go get some more. It's not a problem. Got a follow from Luna Tuna Z, who has just followed. Thank you very much for following. Hope you're enjoying the stream. How's it going? Flavor buttons mint says Shep Shepherd. Three stacks of bits is okay, says Isu. What do you mean three stacks of bits is okay? Birch buttons get my vote. They would probably go better on this, to be fair. What have we got here? We've got a stack of grey bits, a stack of brown bits. Ooh, a couple of stacks of purple bits. We've got a stack of green bits there. And so we can get... Five stacks of wood. Okay. Anyone gifting subs, says that awesome KK. <laughs> Question for Foxy in chat. What is the most useless items in Minecraft? A poisonous potato is the most useless item in Minecraft. It would be great if they actually allowed that to make poison potions. That makes sense to me. But otherwise, you know, they're just completely useless. They are good for nothing. There is not one single use for them. Diver chain armor, says Data. Diamond hose are getting... <laughs> you still can't do it that way, Minecraft dude. Are, you, are getting a use next update? Yeah. Yeah, any gold tool, tools. Gold tools. Gold armor's got a use now in the next update, but gold tools haven't. We'll go for birch then. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Beetroot's got a use. Beetroot stew. It's not very good. A bit pointless, but it's it's got a use. Many buttons, says Data. Indeed. Yeah. Although you you think this is many buttons, it doesn't go as far as you think. It doesn't go as far as you think at all. Oh, there's a lot of things building up in there. We need to turn it on. Turn it on, mate. Quick. Kill them all. Let Wilf sort them out and bomb. Get all that XP for me, Wilf, won't you? Hey, Enderman. Look at me, mate. Now, thank you. Oh, it's full. My chest is full of stuff. We want Chuck Loader to take over, says Johnny the Gamer. Uh, I don't think you do. I think you don't, you're not sure what you want. <laughs> Chuck taking over would be boring. Because the thing is about Chuck is he doesn't have a mind of his own. So he just stands there doing nothing 
until Tom, someone comes and speaks to him and then he just says yeah and okay and he'll either do it or he won't depending on how he's feeling so a Chuck stream would be boring <laughs> trust me it sounds funny to say it but it wouldn't be funny it would be boring you get four buttons for one log says Shep yeah he's expensive Foxy used to have a meeting room where he'd start off every stream arguing with Big Chicken, chucking a random zombie that sat in one of the chairs and skimming. I did! And do you know, I used to get a load of comments going, oh, the video actually starts at this point, which was like three or four minutes after that bit, because, you know, people just weren't interested in it, so I stopped doing that. Beetroot makes red dye. Again, another use for beetroot. There you go. Thanks, Alice's mum. Iron trapdoors are very expensive also. They are, but really good, though. I love iron trapdoors. Shep says that's like... 1,280 buttons for that amount of stacks of logs. Yeah, which isn't enough. Not enough, yet. It's all right throwing maths at me, but it just isn't enough. Need more. More buttons, more and more powerful buttons as well. Need these buttons to have ultimate power. Well, I'm not going to be happy about it. There's no accounting for taste, I suppose, the skimmer. Absolutely. How could you not enjoy that silly banter we used to have at the beginning of the videos? I don't know, eh? It's like people want to see actual proper Minecraft on my channel. I've had a lot of, um, well, I say I've had a lot. I've had a handful of comments about that as well since I've been doing this storyline stuff. Like, this is getting boring now. When are you going to go back to doing the proper Minecraft videos? It's like, well, um, you know, your opinion is just one of many, my friend. So is this Meat Waffle 2.0? It's not nowhere near as good as the Meat Waffle list, but it might it might give us a few passive mobs. Maybe. We'll see. We'll be careful of here, though. There's guys like this. And Spider, it's daytime. I know you're in the dark, but it's daytime, mate. You shouldn't be bothering me. Understand to read your clock better. Yeah, not quite Meat Waffle, this one. Oh, pfft. I think you're doing fine with your videos, says Ajax Seawall. Well, thank you very much. Although the uh, the story ones pretty much have come to an end now anyway, not just naturally. Uh, so we'll be back to normal Minecraft for a little bit. And then uh, story stuff will resume, I guess, at some point when there's more story to do. <laughs> we like these streams with Big Chicken, says Lofty. Yep, yeah, I think you're doing fine. Oh, I've read that one. What, it, what I like is the fact that buttons float in front of you hand in first person view. Do they? What do you mean when I'm placing them? All those eyes and you can't trade a clock, says Commander Kevin. Oh, read a clock. You mean the eyes from my Doom Eternal streams? <laughs> or the eyes I've been collecting from the demons? You see, Foxy, much of your humour, I suspect, goes over the head of the average Minecraft video viewer. That's the problem. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There's a much, much bigger audience out there looking for people that are just genuinely, like, building. And there's a massive stigma over that now. It's like, unless you're the best and the most efficient at what you do, and you have to actually tell everyone how wonderful you are and what a good job you did, which I hate. I, help, I hate patting myself on the back in videos and congratulating myself in a genuine way. Like, I do it as a joke with sarcasm but I hate it when people are like oh yeah this is perfect what I've done and this is brilliant and this is the best thing that anyone's ever built but if you don't do that you you then get your comments just full of people going oh so and so did it better because people believe what you tell them and if you're like oh it's okay they'll just go oh so and so's done that better and they just you just don't get the feedback that you should but if you tell everybody it's the best thing in in the world even when it's not people believe it and it's bad. It's a bad situation because then you just get loads of e what people look, look like egotistical morons just telling you how wonderful their stuff is. And half the time it's a load of junk that doesn't work. Particularly in the redstone technical community. There's so many technical and redstone things that I see out there that just won't work. But people are saying, oh, this is the best type of this available and it's got loads of views. And you think, oh, well, you're leading everyone up the garden path, mate, aren't you? You can't get away from it, sadly. 
Oh, the spiders. I see what you mean. Everyone plays Minecraft, but don't do stories like you. That's love, says an awesome KK. I do love the game, and I like to tell stories. And I don't fuss about my numbers too much. A little bit. I think everybody does. As long as people are happy and not complaining, then I'm happy. When you all start complaining, then I'll maybe change. I like the stories. There are, there are hundreds of Minecraft Let's Play videos, says Scorch. Well, that's good to know. Thank you. Ah, dude, I'm busy. Clear off. Come and see me later after the stream. We'll talk about it then. Oh, mate. Oh, sorry about that. But it's really important as well. I hate being made an Suddenly, example, pineapples. be it good or bad, says Data. What do you mean by that? Teachers would always do it to me. When's TBT and Sue starting? 1st of April, which is Wednesday, is it? Soon, basically. Right, you can't go on YouTube without getting hit over the head with a hundred Let's Play videos of tutorials. The stories and comedy are where it's at, says Skinner. I wish the uh, I wish the analytics agreed with you. They absolutely don't agree with you, but it'd be nice if they did. What kind of mouse do you have? I have got an actually. I've got a very expensive mouse because my mouse wheels kept breaking because I do a lot of mouse wheel scrolling with all of the editing I do and with the games that I play. And uh, I was sick of having the middle mouse wheel not working properly when I'm scrolling. So I spent some good money in a mouse. And I got a Steel Series Rival 600. Ah! I'm reading my mouse, mate! 600 or 700. I can't re remember what the number is behind it. But uh, it's, it's a very nice mouse. Very customizable. And it feels nice as well. And you get little weights with it in the box. So you can like have, a, have it custom weighted to your preference. So yeah, I like it. It's a nice mouse. And they also have one of those giant mouse mats as well that like my keyboard sits on as well. Because I hate I hate it when you're using your mouse and you hit the edge of your mouse mat. Is it actually on April the first for season season two? Yeah. Actually, it is. I like the scenarios with on onion and slack and big chicken. You can't help but laugh, says Lofty. Thank you. I like my Logitech G600. I like my Logitech G600 and love it, says Data. Well, whatever you get up to in your own time, I guess. <laughs> the mouse certainly won't fall off his wheel, says Skimmer64. I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't, because I'm sick of having mouse with a duff middle click and a middle scroll wheel. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Falling off this thing is becoming a regular recurrence. I need to get better at not falling off. Hey! I won splay if you lose, mate! Oh. Would marry, says Data. <laughs> I used to feel like that about my iPhone. Till, I, till it started asking me for stuff all the time. Permanently asking me for stuff. Why don't you get Apple Music, mate? Why don't you Why don't you sign up for this other thing that we sell? Why don't you update your phone? Seems so, though, you know, we haven't released an update since yesterday. We want you to update your phone. And even if you say, no, we're going to do it anyway. And it just, the more I had that phone, the more annoyed I got with all of the things that it told me I should be doing. And I'm like, no, you're my phone. I tell you what we should be doing, not the other way around. That was main, Dane. That was mean. Friendly Gamer Boy is now following. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you very much for watching. Fox, you reminded me of the old Michael Douglas movie, The Falling Down. Don't ask why. I've never never seen it. I didn't used to like Michael Douglas until um, till in, till Ant-Man. It was the first time I ever watched him and it didn't make my skin just crawl. But yeah, something about... Michael Douglas just really makes... Well, used to really make my skin crawl, so I've not seen many of his movies. Good one, Dean, you mean is. You're all mean. Gotta go, been a great stream, Foxy. Thanks, Data. 
Have a nice time with your mouse. No, I don't think we'll be too much longer. We've been going on a while now. I'd like to get all these buttons in, but realistically it's not going to happen in today's stream, I don't think. Believe it or not, it just takes so gosh darn long adding all these stupid buttons to this stupid ow, mob farm that keep falling off. Whee See you guys, probably on the services, Data. See you later, buddy. Have a good one. Thank you. Many, 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 many buttons. Many buttons. Oh, oh no, we're not. I thought we'd run out. That's a shame. We've got loads more. <laughs> well, you did want a big mob farm, so says Cricket Rise. Yeah. I know. I mean, it could be bigger. It's one of the it's one of the smaller ones, really. It's only got five layers on it, but it's a nice. I think it's got a nice horizontal size to it. If that makes any sense at all. Are you wearing siren hat skins? Is that awesome, KK? No, I took it off. I took it off. I did have it on. Someone paid for five minutes of it earlier, but it's not on now. Hey, zombie. Bye, zombie. See, they still fall off, even though there's no buttons there. So it does kind of make you think, is there any point in adding these buttons? I mean, th that creeper is trying to path found round, path find round. Go on, get down. Go on, shoot. If you stop streaming, I can come place for you, says Mitz. <laughs> Or do you feel like you can't play because you've got to be managing the stream on Mitz? Bless you. Thank you. You can always, you know, take a break from managing it. I, I'm quite happy to manage it if you want to come play. But thank you. Forgot a button in the third. Sand on the left by the dirt. Did I? Oh, man. What a forgetful fox I am. Ah, oh my goodness me. No, 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 not in the water. There we go. Whew. Nailed it. Why are you guys not falling down the holes? Four. There we go. No, 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 no. Fall down the hole. Thank you. Where is it? Forgot a button on the third third sand on the left by the dirt. That doesn't actually help me at all, but thank you. <laughs> Where is it, mate? Third sand on the left by the dirt. Could be anything. <laughs> this is the most worst description ever. It's on a block somewhere near one of the other blocks, mate. Right, okay. Cheers. Appreciate it. I could spend hours looking for it. I bet there isn't even one missing. You're just trolling me. Thought you was going to call them Dean now. Says Dean. What? I can be back up too if you want to play Mitz. There you go. See Mitz? Jesse's prepared to jump in. Ah! There isn't one missing, is he? You're having me on. Totally having me on, mate. I don't believe you. Eat! I don't need to eat. I'm full. You eat. <laughs> or is that one of those things you want to... Like ASMR or whatever it's called. You want to just hear me eating through the microphone. I don't have any food up here. Speaking of food... Ah, oh, ants! Ants! Only a couple of them, but started coming in my kitchen again. I haven't had ants for years. I had a really bad situation with them a few years ago. We had a really hot summer. And me and my neighbours, uh, we got overrun with ants. My garden is literally full of ant, ant, mounds of ants. And it still is now. And I went and eradicated everything. I got loads of ant, ant powder, put loads of traps down, dug all their ant hills up, got rid of them. And my neighbours, they had to get proper people in because they were all over the house. They were in their cupboards and everything. They were like literally nested in the house. Unfortunately, I didn't have that issue. And I managed to get rid of them. And they never came back for about three years. And now I just had a couple in the kitchen yesterday and then a couple of little bit after that 
and I hate it. I hate the thought of having bugs in the house. It's gross. And uh, so I just went mental cleaning all the, uh, the kitchen up yesterday, mopping it, spraying. I haven't got any ant powder left, so um, I was spraying it with like flea spray and stuff like that, trying to make sure they didn't come back. And now I haven't seen any today, thankfully, but I dread going down there and I dread like eating anything at the minute in case I drop any crumbs or get anything anywhere because obviously that's what they come for. Now, what I understand with ants is if they come in, that's fine as long as they don't make it back to the nest again. If they go back to the nest, they basically inform the rest of the ants that there is a food source and then you get all the ants in. If you can get rid of them when they come in and save them or stop them getting back to the, their, their nest, then you're all right. But the worrying, well, not the worrying thing, but the, the question, I guess, is where is the nest? Where's the nest? I don't know. There could be millions of them. Had them all over the garden a few years ago. Ah! Oh dear, I'm in. One button should not make a big difference to the rate today, actually, Seawolf. Yeah, well, I'll maybe find it at some point. I'm not too worried about it right now. Said quad is 16, first row of sand. First row from which direction? <laughs> the first row of sand. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Hang on. The Z position is 16, which is here. Ah, there you go. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, that person. Thank you, Kit. Amazing. Ooh, answer annoyances, Michael. Dude. Yeah. And the couple book got on top of it quickly before it got bad, says Mitch. Yeah. Roaches are nasty. We don't get roaches here, which is really good. Good night, all. Oh, thanks for the stream, Foxes. Diver Cat. See you later, Diver. Thank you for joining. Ants will come in for water too. It's a shadow chaser. I've not, never found that. I've never had ants in the house for anything other than food. Although there was a couple of like woodlouse in the house as well at the same time, which was a bit weird. I've never had those in the house. So I don't know. Something going on. We're after something. They're after something. Did Mitch join? No. No. We're nearly there on the top row. And I think we've just about... So we've only got one more row after this to do. So maybe I will. Maybe we'll do the uh, this row and the bottom row. And then we'll call it a day, I think. Not the bottom row. The next one down. And that should be everything done, I think. We'll see. Have I got enough buttons for that? Probably not. Probably not got enough buttons to do the whole lot. But we'll certainly get a lot of it done. You can follow the ant trail. Then... Then seal the open. Well, the ant, that's the thing. The ant trail only, you only get the ant trail once they've actually basically logged your, air, where they're coming to as, once they've got back to the nest and they've been like, yep, yeah, that's a good source of food. Then, then you start getting ant trails. At the moment, I don't have that. We're just getting scouts, like one or two ants here and there. So if we, if we start getting ant trails, then we have got a big problem. So there's no trail to follow back at the moment. What's the chicken icon, says Friendly Gamer Boy? What do you mean? What chicken icon? Is that one of the... Oh, do you mean like the um, the stream points thing? Uh, don't, yeah, good good question. No one knows. It's a mystery to us all. Here in Florida, it doesn't rain for a while. They come in to hand out... Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, well, it's pretty wet and damp country, this one. So we don't really... They don't really have a, a thirst... We don't have thirsty ants. Three months sub, says Isu. Uh, that's not coming up on my screen at all. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, the emoji. Right. Sorry, I got very confused there. Thought you were saying I've had a three month sub and I didn't say thank you. The sub chicken icon. It's Big Chicken. One of my characters. When I do Let's Plays, we do stories and I've got different characters, and Big Chicken is one of the characters. Just like Chuck and Mr. Onion and Mr. Barbecue, Rodney, Fox's enemy, Fox's friend, the Saints All Eternal, the Master of Time, uh, Polduck and in Polduck's kids, Fox's mum, Fox's dad. Uh, we've got the, what's his name, Ham Solo and Sparky. We've got, who else was in that world? Father Christmas, <laughs> Santa Claus. 
Geraldine. This is Commander Kevin, absolutely. Put a line of powder around the outside of your house. Stop some coming in, says Scott. Yeah, well, I will, but I've got no powder at the minute and I'm not allowed to go to the shop right now. So that's tricky. So well, all the only thing I can do right now is to just... Hey, Mitz is here. He's just... Keep them, um, keep them at bay as best I can by cleaning. Sheep of Dreams. Geraldine will be in Season 2, says Boxy Lofty. Well, we've left her in Season 1, but you never know. Never found out where was Colin. That's what I want to know. Where was Colin? Need to ask her that. Don't speak about the Sheep of Dreams. It's too soon. I've got a lot of characters, haven't I? <laughs> Did I miss anyone? I feel like I missed somebody, but I can't think who it was. Let's have a look. I've got them all in uh, in a skin pack now. Monkey. Oh, Dark Fox. Uh, Corrupt Chuck. Office of Chicken. Can't forget Office of Chicken. And then there's Lazy Slack as well. But otherwise, yeah, I don't think uh, I missed anyone else. Slack lols, this Commander Kevin. Yeah, you can't have a Foxy No Tail skin pack without a lazy slack in it. <laughs> Did you see it with the egg down his top? <laughs> I made that one for him. He doesn't use it. I don't understand why. He's got egg there, a bit of mustard down there, look. Chilling out. <laughs> Colin done a runner with Geraldine's diamonds, says Lofty. Could have done. Could have done. Never know. Wouldn't put it past him. He's a pesky pillager. Well, he's a, he's a vindicator, actually, isn't he? When did Slack, Lazy Slack make an appearance? He's not. He's never made an appearance. It's just a skin that I like to uh, like to wear sometimes when I'm messing about with Slack, particularly when he's not doing anything. Although it's been a while since me and Slack have done any proper collabing. I know he was there in episode. 101 and 102, no, 102, but it was, um, it's been a while since we've done any proper collabing. Dark Fox probably killed Colin, yeah, maybe, he seemed to kill everyone else. <laughs> Glad I wasn't around when he was running around. Do you have your own skin packs? Is Johnny the game. I do. I've got two, I've got one for my characters and I've also got a truly bedrock skin pack, which I also made, which we now use because having skin packs, not that one, that one doesn't work. Yeah, having skin packs allows you to not have your character switched over when someone else logs in with their custom skin. So we've got all of these skins as well from the Truly Bedrock ones. So it can literally be anyone we want. Dun, dun, dun. Who would we be, though? Who would we be? Who would we be? Be Foxy No Tales. The best one. Best one in the game, mate. It's like a streamer right now, but I think he's on Slackville. Oh, okay. How do you make your own pack? Oh, if I tell you that, I've got to kill you. Uh, I think you'll find there's, um, there are tutorials on it online. You, it's, yeah, it's too, it's very difficult to explain, but it's kind of a little bit like making an add-on, I guess. But it's not, not as tricky as that. Don't let Dark Fox kill Mr. Onion, says Lofty. The good thing about when Dark Fox kills you is you respawn, so I won't worry about that. It's not like when you get eaten by a zombie. A skin pack is so useful, says Jesse B. It is. It's really useful. Apart from when Prowl decides he's going to be Mr. Onion, and then um, then you get all sorts of confused why Mr. Onion's there in the same room as you when you are Mr. Onion, sharing a body with Mr. Onion. It's really weird. Mitz is here. Hey, Mitz. How you doing, Mitz? Oh, it's Little Red Riding Mitts. Do you want to go to Grandma's house? See how she's doing? Oh, yeah, she's got some really big teeth. All the better for eating you with, my dear. <laughs> I hope you brought your own wood. I'm not shearing. <laughs> I was going to ask Foxy, says Friendly Gamer Boy. What was she going to ask? I'll have Mr. Onion Skins as Love Day. Be rogue and try and do his accents as Shep and Tay. Rogue? Uh, I'm not very good at accents like that. I'm not very good at... Um, yeah, I can do I can do what I can do. I can't just... Especially if you put on the spot like that. 
Don't work, mate. Punch him off the edge, says Johnny the Game. Well, that's not very nice. You need a computer, and if you use another pack as a template, you just change all the names and, and skin PNG, says Kit. Uh, it's... Yeah, the skin pack's different to that. It's uh, it's like one that you actually get from the store, but the game thinks it's... Yeah, this game thinks it's a store-bought one, but it's not. And I don't... I think it would probably... It might work on... No, I think it would probably only work on Windows 10, to be honest with you. And I'm totally out of wood now. Let me go see if I've got any in my wood box. Anything in here I can make out? Oh! Look at all that! Fancy wood just appeared. Guess that was Mitz. Thanks, Mitz. Let's make some stairs, apparently. No, I don't want stairs, I want buttons. I accidentally wasted some wood on stairs, Mitz. Sorry. My bad. Jesse B's fault. She told me to. Things are all playing Jesse today. Lol, I got fed up with the skin issue, says Mitz. Yeah, I like it. It suits you. It's good. I like Little Red Riding Hood skin. Rogue just sounds like a generic American, like I couldn't pinpoint where he is. Uh, what One person's generic American and this is another person's not quite so generic American. <laughs> like, now that... Now that I know you, Jesse, whenever I hear people on TV, like like uh, female leads or characters, I, I'm like, I can hear that. I can hear Jesse B. Sounds like Jesse B. Not always, but like certain people, I'm like, oh, that's Jesse B. Oh, it was Isu dropping off the wood. Thanks, Isu. Free wood. Woohoo. I like free wood, mate. No doubt I'll get a bill for it later. I'll get an invoice in the post. Well, look, I'm doing this row and I haven't done the middle ones on that row. Oh, jumping the gun here. Have we done all the ones going that way? How does that farm work? Can you show me, please? Says uh, Friendly Good Boy. All you do, you stand at the bottom. Mobs spawn on these. They think they can walk on the bottom. See that mob there? It thinks it can walk on the button. So when it decides to pathfind, like the zombie that was above it, they just walk off and they fall down. And they end up in the water below. And in the water, there is a hole. And the hole leads to, basically, a little trident killer that's down there. So, there's also a witch spawner cage up there. This is a modded bedrock addition to an extent. It's a mod pack I made for me and my patrons. You can download it if you want to play it yourself from foxynotel.com. And they go down there and they get killed by a trident killer. Which is really handy. And it's a good trident killer because it works with spiders as well. It's not as fast as some of the strident kills you've seen, but it does keep up. It's not ever got clogged up in there. So you can see we've got a trident killer in there. It's killed everything, including the spiders. It kills the dolphins. It kills the witches. It does a very good job. And then if we go down to the bottom, basically just AFK at this point here, and you pick up all the XP, and you get all of the stuff. Leveling the nether racks is easy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Natural. So, uh, yeah, if you AFK here, the Witch Spawner doesn't activate, but you get the XP. However, if you want to get the Witch Drops, you can AFK up here. Basically, at this point here, if we AFK here, the Witch Spawner runs. And if you AFK with two people, you can get one person there with the Witches dropping and one person at the bottom collecting the XP. Oh, a multi-tier system, says Jesse. Yeah, so the way we got it designed as well is that we got a roof over half of it so that mobs will spawn. Because it's in an ocean biome... Ah, that's a problem. We've built this passive bit. bit. We're not going to get any passive mobs because we're in an ocean biome. So this was a complete waste of time. But we do get squid and dolphins because we're in over the ocean, which is why we're not putting a roof over this bit. If we put a roof over this bit, we won't get any squid or dolphins. So... Yeah, and we also get drowns in it as well because it's in an ocean biome. Drowns will spawn in flowing water. And Wilf has just appeared at my base if anyone wants him. Maybe water stream the XP at the upper platform, says Cricket the Wise. Uh, I, no, I'm not that bothered about that. I haven't built this for an XP farm. I've built it for bits and blocks. I'm not bothered about using it for XP at all because I can get millions of XP for trading with the, the Bit Fiddler. 
so I don't need an XP farm. It's nice to get every now and then just to collect. Feels nice grabbing that XP, but I don't need it. So I'm not going to start mucking about with diverting XP. I'm on the wrong level. I'm wondering why that's all been done. Did I just waste 150 fossil coins with that eight thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> did I eat? Did you press it and did I eat? If you pressed it and I ate, then it's not wasted. If you pressed it and I didn't need to eat, so therefore I didn't eat, then it's wasted. Yeah, should have thought about the uh, passive mobs. Forgot about that. Got carried away. Now, technically, because of this mob pap, squill, squill, squid will spawn in a plains biome in water. So we could, we could update the biomes using a mapping program, and make this a plains biome. Because the idea of this world was the entire world was supposed to be plains biomes, but because of, because of bedrock addition and its bugs. When you go out past a certain point, it just creates ocean biomes everywhere in the in the void world. The software is set to make it all plains biomes, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But at least it's where we get drowned. Now that's epic, says Petro. Petro, thank you. Oh, and you followed as well a few minutes ago. Thank you for that. I missed that. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Now, according to my stream timer, I've just about been live two hours, but according to my actual stream timer, because I was late pressing the button, I've been actually streaming for nearly three hours. I've been streaming for two hours, 40 minutes. So, I'm going to finish this level, I'm going to call it a day, and then I'll probably, ooh, I was going to say see you all tomorrow. I probably won't see you all tomorrow, because I'll be picking Oliver up before I do my stream, so I won't be able to stream tomorrow night. I'll probably stream again on Wednesday night in that case. So you might get a Doom Eternal stream from me on my alternate channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash duckshot84, which is my channel for mature audiences. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll probably be streaming that some point in the morning. Uh, it depends what time I get up, I suppose. Maybe lunchtime-ish. My time. I'm in British summertime at the minute. But I will also be, oh, maybe a bit before that, actually, because I'm supposed to be playing with Jack tomorrow as well. Ooh. Probably about 10 a.m. British summer time then for that one. Many streaming today. I've been doing, I've been trying very hard to do two streams a day, one on each channel, to keep both up to date. I'm trying to obviously grow the second channel as much as possible. I think we've done it all, mates. Yeah, relatively quickly so I can get it affiliated, but I don't have enough followers or enough, um, I haven't done enough streams on it yet, but I'm going to keep working on it. But there we go, they are all the levels completed with the mob farm now, so it should be technically at 100% capacity now. Whoops, it would be if I hadn't just smashed that to bits. No doubt we've missed a button somewhere, but it really doesn't matter. So yeah, if, you, if you're interested in these streams and the other sorts of streams I do, then uh, feel free to check them both out. And obviously I make videos at the moment, pretty much daily content on videos. Although I did accidentally release two videos today, so there might be one missing another day. I don't know how I managed to do that. But yeah, there's, uh, I'm trying very hard to put out daily videos as well. So do my best to create as much content as possible right now with uh, the state of things, how everything's going. Hopefully you're all appreciating that. Thanks for that, Dean. <laughs> Bit of cartoon hoe down there. My favourite song in the world. Need more slabs. Oh, we'll just get rid of those for now. Do not go through the floor when we get down to the floor. Good. It's close. Wilf is here. Hey, everybody. So chuck all that in there for now. Let's go check it out. We should be getting mobs all day long now. Because half of it's in darkness. There are a few other people on though. So there may well be other people loading up mob areas as well. Probably are. Let's go and have a look and see what's going on. We've got a mitts up there. Suddenly, pineapples. Oh, look at all those drowns that just spawned in. 
So if Mitz comes away, this thing will probably start running. In fact, Mitz, would you come and do me a favour and come stand here? Can you not get down? You've got no Elytra. You have to jump in the water. <laughs> um, Foxy, she said in the chat. <laughs> what? What the problem? <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to make you a little platform to stand on. Uh, come stand up here, mates. Can you come stand on here so that the spawner's active? Yeah, just there. Stay there. Don't move. For about a week. <laughs> we should now see uh, all of the mobs and stuff coming down here. We should see some witches in a minute. Some drowns. The creepers. Come on, witches. Where's the witches at? How are we missing a couple of torches in there? I don't know. There we go. There's the witches. And they're all going to get taken out by that amazing trident killer. Get wrecked. You suck. There we go. All getting taken care of. Dropping lots of bot bits and drops and all sorts of good stuff. Spiders do get down there eventually. There we go. He got got. Nice. So not earlier than 10 BST tomorrow. Mm, unlikely. No, probably. I'll aim for 10 BST. But I won't be able to run over a couple of hours because I, I have got to meet up with Jack. So, yeah. And there we go. Look at all those tasty drops we're getting in there. Very, very good. Thank you, Mitz. You're free to go if you want to. Anyway. Peepity peeps and poopity poops and all of the people in between. That didn't really work, did it? Thank you all very much for watching this live stream. I hope you had a good one. I've had a really, really good one. Let's roll the credits and see who we're thanking today. And then we're going to disappear. Then we're going to disappear. And it's 10 o'clock. Ah, oh, it's 10 o'clock. Look at those witches in the background getting wrecked. Thanks, Foxy. Says Tom Cross, you're welcome. Sea Bones donated ten dollars. Thank you for oh ten pounds. Jesse B and Mitz moderating. Got new followers. Look at all those new followers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen new followers. And now another one, Poz King Von, who just followed as well, and a new subscription as well. Amazing. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Don't forget to follow and subscribe if you can. And I'll see you all later. Bye. Where's off button gone? Um.